Hi, do you hope everyone? My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome to Inkbound, one of the greatest games you might not have heard about, but I'm going to fix that today. It is up to four player co op as well. I'm about 13, 14 hours into the game. Like any roguelike, you got different runs. You got a quick dive. I think I've actually, actually ever done the quick dive. Deep dive is like the normal run. And then there's the daily challenge where it's exactly what it sounds every day, different challenge. I think you have one run, one attempt to do it, but we're just going to be looking at the deep dive because that's what we're going to do it together. So we are currently God Keeper. He sounds cool. At the beginning, you only have uh, like magma, moss cloak, and weaver unlocked, I believe. This is, I, it's pretty self-explanatory. The, the class or archetype you bring into each game. Magma Miner, this dude, you also see the complexity. He's about as easy as it gets. Very ungabunga. Not a whole lot to it. Moss Cloak's more roguey. Weaver, sort of like a sorcerer. Obelisk is like a tank vanguard sort of dude. Clairvoyant is... I don't remember. I think Clairvoyant is essentially Oriana from League of Legends, if you know what I'm talking about. You manipulate that orb. Star Captain is gunslinger sorts. Chainbreaker is like a monk sort of dude, if I remember correctly. Big old knuckles or Vi. And then Godkeeper. I think I might have just unlocked him and not used him yet. But each one comes with uh, specialization. And then they all have three starting abilities. But it's important to note you might get different ones. So let's say we're going to go with Godkeeper. I don't know if we will, but my specialization like a passive ability I have, is Godkeeper. After I use a movement, binding, or teleporting to the Celestial Spear, I gain Velocity. We'll find out what that is later, but essentially so. If I do something, I get a buff. Oh. Well, here's what Velocity does. You deal 50% extra damage on your next attack binding. Now, what is all this binding nonsense? We'll get to that in a second. Then I have my three, I don't know if abilities, just call them that for the sake of it. We start out with Impale which does X amount of damage, double to the nearest enemy and inflicts bleed. So it's very simple. You know, imagine it's almost like a card from a card building deck builder, whatever, what have you. Uh, it has a cost and then it tells you what damage it does. So this does physical damage and it'll cost you one mana point. I don't know if it's not called mana, but might as well just be called mana energy. I don't know. We also have the Celestial Spear, which does magic damage. And if you see this icon with rotating arrows and a number, that's telling you it'll go on cooldown for X amount of turns. So if I use this, it'll be back to use again in three turns. This one, I throw my spear, I deal damage, and I create a Celestial Spear, which is important because apparently I can teleport to said Celestial Spear. Then my last ability, Whirlwind, I deal damage uh, doubling to far enemies physical damage not nothing too crazy that's how it starts everybody does something different i am going to let chat choose all right well the poll's getting close to being done it appears the people want godkeeper you heard it here so we'll be playing godkeeper I, I already went over this ability so we're more or less good to go we're gonna go ahead and, head and do a deep dive it'll be fine because again been a little while for me so we're gonna learn together and i think i do have it on a harder difficulty yeah Ooh, i forgot about that like a lot of roguelikes sometimes you know you complete a run and then you can complete it again but like at a higher difficulty and that difficulty giving you like some new challenge and then it keeps multiplying you know so like oh i completed run one then you get tier one and it has something. And then you get tier two and it has tier one as well as tier two. So I'm on rank five, tier five, essentially. So it has all the previous ones as well as the new ones, which apparently means book mutators have been added and dive length increased. So minions are tankier. The creeping blight starts closer. So essentially Fortnite ring, you'll see. Post guardian. Okay, so if I beat a boss, I don't heal as much. I don't start with many currency. It would appear that the bosses are harder. So if I'm not mistaken, this is actually to choose the final boss you want to fight. There's three different final bosses as of now. Maybe they've added more or will add more. I don't know. 
but I'm essentially saying that the last world, I want to fight the Shadow of Runstone or Cinder or Argolath. What's funny is when I was playing more, they all have different mechanics and play differently. So if you kind of know what build you're going for, you could sort of hope or something but we're gonna leave this up to chat as well do we want to fight essentially kraken big bird like a golem kraken it is so we're gonna go to Arglath. so now you'll see over there it's showing us what we'll be fighting at the end this tentacle terror of the depths once terrorized the radiant market with its deadly gaze so if we get to the end we'll fight him it's a big if oh i must have completed some quest good already the athenium won't fall anytime soon so why not take your time? Okay, so that's sort of how progression works in this game. People will give you quests. You go into the runs, and if you're able to complete them, find that person again, complete the quest, and then that's how you do meta progression. So I just received this quest. So it's speak with the scribe. The next step is complete three scri scribe tasks, which are all these. And if I do, I unlock something to unlock in permanent future runs. If I'm not mistaken... There's not as much meta progression, but it's more unlocking new tools to use in future runs and new classes. And you do all that through a lot of these quests. There's like a good amount of quests I've completed. A good amount I haven't yet, so we're just going to freaking run with it. And we get to choose between some of the biomes. Somewhere like Darkest Dungeon too, if you've done that one. But some of these you'll be able to find again later. This one is the Radiant Market. But if I'm not mistaken, each one comes with a modifier. So there's more to it as well. One, the different boss you might find at the end of the biome, but also the modifier. So for this one, and that's because I'm on like the harder difficulty. On turn end, enemies gain an attack boost. But if I complete it, we get 125 quillings or whatever, that little circle. It's just currency. Proving grounds, if I beat this one, the modifier is villains and guardians, aka like bosses, deal extra damage when under half HP, but I don't get much currency. Or Garden's Edge, on turn start, I gain pacifism, lowering all my damage. You know, we're gonna try the Radiant Market. On turn in, enemies gain attack boost. I'll just kill them before they can hit me, so it's no big deal. We get a lot of currency. Now we'll get started, and I'll show you what the game's really about. Now that we've properly started the run, I know it seems like there's a lot going on here. I get a quick potion supply, and apparently I get a random potion, sweet. I get a random tarnished vault. So, you'll see the hot bar. There's a lot to explain, but once we get going, it'll make sense. You can have up to, I believe, six vestiges or like items. This will help form your builds. Some of them are simple, some of them not. Some of them work with others. Some of them are just useless for your build. This one just gives you extra magic damage. Pretty simple. This turn, uh, with this, every turn you get shield, which is nice for your a little squishy. Or on hitting enemies for the first time each turn, inflict burn. So maybe you have a burn build. Maybe you do magic damage. Maybe you need some tankiness. We, I think, ear on the side of physical damage. So this one's probably not that good. This one could keep us alive, but that's boring. So we're going to go with the one that inflicts burn. And then, I know. Like, what the fudge is happening? Well, bear with me. We get to augment a binding. That's the word for like abilities or spells. Bindings. Woo. Because there's like a whole book theme here, but it's just abilities. So these are the three abilities we have. But now we get to augment them. And if you look at the ability icons, they all have three little pips next to them. You get to augment an ability three times. So if I were to choose this, that would take up one of Deadly Whirlwind's uh, upgrades. And then eventually it could fill up. So I don't have to worry about it now, but you do have to worry in the future if there's augments you know you want to shoot for. Or if you only get some mediocre ones and then suddenly it's full. Stuff to think about. So we could... Uh, what is this? Upgrade Impale. Gaining extra crit damage until the end of turn. Whirlwind upgrades to have better damage and better crit chance. Or with my spear on teleporting to it, I gain shield. I think we might be doing some teleporting. That sounds fun. So. Now we get to choose uh, our next thing. 
This part, essentially think of like Slay the Spire when you have the big map and it shows you, or any roguelike where it shows you like the path you can take. This is essentially what it's doing. It just doesn't show you the whole thing. You just do it one by one. So this is where like branching path one or the other, but you don't know what's coming up afterwards. But if I complete this encounter, the rewards would be a tarnished vault and a quilling cage, AKA we'll get an item and we'll get some currency or two tarnished vaults, which I believe is two items and let's do that. And here's the, the neat part, okay? Inkbound, this whole book, I'm writing my story. So as I make my decision, then it appears as the next part of the world. So it's like sort of this lore act, like, you know, just storytelling, it's cool. The run moves as you go because you know, you haven't written your story yet. So that's pretty neat. But anyway, here comes the good stuff, combat. So in order to begin combat, you gotta go obviously click on it. And so it begins. We got these freaking pins coming after us. Wait. 403 health. Why does that seem so high right now? Wait, that's... It seems like real. Okay, anyway. I'm going to have to get my bearings too. So, combat is pretty dynamic here. Because you get to move during your turn on the battlefield. This purple ink on the ground is the total battlefield and right now it's showing all the enemies intents so what they're gonna do so this pin dude gonna hop down here and i'm currently in that space so i'm taking damage this dude's gonna hop down here do damage i'm in that space any arrows are direct attacks which means i can't dodge them so aoe like the ones where it just shows their effect as long as i'm not in that we're chilling. I can avoid the damage. Arrows, I cannot avoid most of the time. It means that damage is coming to me, so I need to figure out how to avoid it, whether it be shielding myself, stunning, or killing them. Some of them are lines of sight or something, so like I can make one hit the other, but that's very rare. Um, Right here, bottom left, shows my health. I have 50 health, and because I'm about to lose 18, it's showing me I'm going to lose 18 health, and then that's how much of my HP I'm going to lose. At the bottom right, this is your energy bar. I don't know how to, mana, whatever. So I have four for each turn. And as you can see, all of my abilities require a certain amount of energy. So you got to figure out how you're going to do the turn and move from there. Uh, this blue circle that you see around me is showing my total movement the max distance I could travel. So I could run from here all the way to the edge, but I cannot run beyond that. It's showing my max movement. If I were to move a little bit, you'll now see that the updated circle will get smaller. But because I didn't go far enough, it didn't commit the movement yet. Um, but yeah, if you move, you have less movement, obviously. But so you got to position yourself and then you got to figure out how to use your abilities. And the thing is, I don't think I've really used the God Keeper, so we're going to figure out how to fudge to use this dude together. So our most basic attack that's like always available, Impale, where we deal damage, double to the nearest enemy. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a piercing attack. We, I think we're just throwing our spear, right? If I click one, yes. So it shows me where my attack can go. I can aim it. But like this, if I aim it correctly, right here, it's showing me that I'm actually going to hit both of them. And then it's showing me how much damage it'll do with their health bar. And considering it would do double damage, you'll see if I only target this guy, his health drastically gets reduced because it does double damage to the first enemy hit. Something to keep in mind. So that's our first ability that we're going to use the most. It also inflicts bleed on the nearest enemy, which deals damage per stack. Secondly, we have the Celestial Spiel, <laughs> Spear, which deals damage, and I create a selectable Celestial Spear where it lands. So, decent AoE, can hit a couple of them, then we'll have the ability to teleport to it, uh, because then this will turn into Celestial Spear. I teleport to the location of it, and I smite the nearest enemy while gaining a stack of velocity. 
Smiting just does magic damage to an enemy, and then my next attack does 50% more damage. So it appears he's a bit of a combo character. We have to get velocity when we want to do our highest attack, so we do extra damage. And then lastly, Whirlwind. Okay, pretty simple. Big AoE. You can see the outer ring right here. If anybody's in that range, they'll gain uh, double damage. So you'll see this guy's health. If he's not in the outer ring, not that much. In the outer ring, double damage. Wow, isn't that crazy? So that's how our character works in a nutshell. And we... Our biggest threats right now are these guys, like I said. Because we cannot prevent them from hitting us. So I'm going to try and figure out if there's a way to kill one and or both of them during this turn. I think I'm going to start with... Celestial Spear. Throw it down. They burn a little bit. Ooh. And then... I believe... I just click it to go to it. And I would smite somebody. Yeah, okay. So now I have Velocity, so our next attack is going to do double damage. Oh, yeah. And if you see... Uh-huh. So since we're doing almost double damage, at least, I'm going to use Whirlwind for AoE attack. It's going to one-shot this uh, guy here, the guy that's doing direct damage to us. But if I move, I can position it so that both are getting hit by the outer ring and dying. And I might actually be able to position it to where everyone gets hit by the outer ring. So I get the most amount of my damage uh, here. And then I think I just left-click to confirm. Easy. So now I'm taking eight damage because each of their jumps does four damage. However, skirt. If I move here, no damage. I have one more uh, ability to use. So I'll just hit them. And since I'm not going to get hit, I can just end my turn. They miss because they're stupid. Next turn. Now, if you just saw what happened, there is a ink ring or whatever. And so the fights can't last forever. Every turn, the ink will move in further and further and further. If you end your turn on the ink, you take a whole bunch of damage. You don't want to do that. So it's essentially every round, every fight sort of has a time limit. And I'm also on a modifier where I think that just happens faster. So it's also part of it. Now, because we blew our load, so to speak, last round, I do not have any, any of my abilities except for a primary one. I got nothing. But that's not entirely true. First off, I'm just going to hit this dude. He's almost dead. But you'll see there's a power orb. And you might be thinking to yourself, wow, Mr. Fruit, what does a, what does a power orb do? Well, if you get in range and you click it, you get an action point back and it reduces all cooldowns by one. So I now have Whirlwind back at the very least. And you'll see when I'm hovering over my the physically on the pool, uh, I'll take damage at the end of the turn if I do that, so we don't want to do that. But, uh, we're going to activate Whirlwind. And then we've got two more points, which I think should be enough to kill him. Boom. Easy. First battle. Should be the easiest, because, you know, the first one. But now we get the rewards that we chose. So we get two Tarnished Vaults. Now we get new items. There are rarities, as you'll see, so... This one's white. It's common. Green. Uncommon. Velocity also gives crit damage. So every time we teleport to the spear, we also now get extra crit damage for the fight. Overall, I just gain more quillings, which is like money or gold or whatever for the run. Or on my first turn, if I'm above 50% health, uh, or no, if I'm below 50% health, I gain shielding for the rest of combat, which actually gives me some shield at the end of every combat. There's one thing I forgot to mention, too, about the vestiges. Because when I was saying, like, you build, this is how you sort of make a build. Well, it's true, because you also want to go for set bonuses. So you notice all of them have these little icons. So Victor's, whatever that is, is a part of the Reaver class. And if you have two Reaver items, you get extra crit damage. 
If you get three, you get even more. Five, you get even more. And if you somehow get eight, you get a bajillion crit damage. And on critting, you get extra crit damage until the end of the turn. With this one, Quilling Hoarder, this one's more about the economy. You have two of these, you get even more gold. You get three, you get even more gold. And at the end of it, you gain bonus gold for every 100 gold. So you get interest and blah, blah, blah. So everyone uh, goes together. So sometimes that's why you have to pay attention to like, okay, what am I going for? What vestiges do I need to get to hit certain set bonuses? In this case, this one is more defensive. If we get more bastions, we just get shielding. Or inventors, we can shock random enemies. Um, more shocking, lots of shocking, all that stuff. So which one do we like the most? I haven't the slightest clue. Because I'm not so sure. I, we could try and go for a crit build, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's just go for that for now. This vault gives us decayed binding. On my first turn, my attack bindings do 50% bonus damage. Just the entire first turn. That's pretty good. But it's only the first turn. On my turn, 35% chance to gain a will. And I do believe will is energy. They call it will. Uh, or on combat and this vestige gains one max HP and restores four HP. So this would be a good time to get it because it stacks early after every battle. I just get more HP and it heals me. But then you got to look at the set bonuses. This one's Ambusher, which allows them to actually trigger on the second turn as well. If you get more, if you get even more it's on the third turn. If you get nine, which is insane, insane uh, this bonus happens every single turn uh, for all Ambusher vestiges. This one is Will Collector, which is all about getting more energy. So orbs grant Shattered Will. Shattered Will, I think, is a currency that upon 10 gives you an extra will, which is energy. This is Verdant. Verdant? I'm not sure how you say that. You gain max HP after each combat. So again, stacking the HP. You get it early. And you do that even more with more. As well as Vigorous, which uh, you get Vigor for each point of damage you take up to two. What does Vigor do? I don't really remember. We can figure that out later. This just stacks early. And none of these go with the other vestiges we've gotten anyway. So I'm going to take it. And then it just so happens we can also... Uh, oh. Draft a Binding. Right. So, I believe you can get up to five bindings in a run. Your character always starts with the same three, depending on the archetype. So we're uh, God Breaker. We always have those. But then there are two other ones that are all like neutral that pretty much all classes can get. Uh, this one would create a plant that grants will each turn. It's on the ground with a six turn cooldown. But like we could put it down in one turn. We really need the extra cooldown and energy. We could do that. Grasp, we deal 100 damage to a single enemy, pull them towards me, and inflict mark, uh, which gives double damage to that target for that turn. Or we gain 5 shield and stacks a spiked. When people hit us, they take damage back. I'm not really looking to be a shield wall. Grasp sounds more on Gabanga. Oh, sure. I don't know if I love that for our build, but we'll take it. Then we move on to the next section. What do we want to do? There's a sea breach, which is essentially a random event, like a story event, or who really knows. There is refuge, which is like the shop, or an empowerment, which gives us a free augment and the option to purchase another. So a powerful choice. I don't want to go to the store yet. We don't have a lot of currency. It's too early to make use of that. Or augments. Pretty interesting. However, this is more Gamba. I have no idea what's going to happen. So, yeah, well. According to this, through the sea, you peek upon two young and vaguely familiar binders, arguing over the best way to achieve the binding they have been tasked to perform. One for brevity, one for specificity. In front of them, the unfortunate target at their practice. Do you take a side in their argument? If we keep it brief, I get one random uncommon augment for three different bindings. So, e that's pretty good. However, they're random. We have no idea what they could be. And remember when I said you can only have three augments. So if it's bad, that's one less space for an augment later. Could get one random rare augment. 
I'm assuming the ability is also, or the specific binding is random. Or three random uncommon bindings for a single one. Three uncommon augments for a single one. So it gets pimped out, but you just sort of hope it's good. This one, a rarer augment, but you only get one of them. And this one, you spread it out a little bit. I sort of want to spread the love. Three and one is just, that's just a little, that's a bit much, Chief. So, this is still Gamba, so screw it. We're going to keep it brief. Now, what the fudge has happened? We, uh, I think there's a way to see what the fudge, there's a button for it somewhere. There's a, there's a button for it. I'm clicking every button. No, no. Okay. No. It's cosmetics. Ja, that's still cut. That's emotes. Wow, that's incredible. You would think like tab or escape or something. Yeah, I don't know. It would appear that we get crit damage until the end of turn for every enemy hit with our primary. The Celestial Spear got marking spear. When we teleport, we also mark the nearest enemy, which gives us double damage to them for the turn. And this one inflict four bleed on far enemies, as well as the double damage. And then we also get some potions, which you can hold up to two down here. And you can use at any point during a battle. So this one would give us 10 shield. This one, uh, we gain two discount for all of our abilities. I typically save these for like boss fights, normal fights. You don't really need to use them. And sometimes you want to look around because there can be destructible items to get a little bit of currency. Now we got a combat encounter. Two more Tarnished Vaults. However, you guys know me. And it's just how I approach roguelikes. These red ones are hard combat encounters. So they're a little bit tougher. But the rewards are always better. Because in this case, it's a big quilling cage as well. Instead of a normal one. So more currency. Or in this case, Tarnished Vault and an uncommon augment. We're not doing the normal. That's lame. Even though getting two items actually could benefit us more. Ah. Do we want money or do we want... Or not? Let's get money and uh, a new vestige. Okay, so see, like, here, here are some books. I get a little bit extra currency. I can break those barrels. It's not a lot, but, like, it's at least something to interact with. And now we start combat. And again, it's important to note, you can play up to four player co-op. So you could be doing these battles with friends, with players. There's random matchmaking, I believe, too, where you can party up. I've never played multiplayer, so I don't actually know how it works or the scaling. Or I've only ever done single player. And it's enough. If it's like, oh, this game's only fun with multiplayer. Nah, I've never played with anybody. And I still have a lot of fun. But I do like games that give the option. However, most of my friends, actually, now that I think about it, I don't really know any of my friends that like roguelikes like I do. Yeah. So that's why multiplayer usually doesn't matter for me. Um, but we're taking eight damage. There's a lot going on, so we need to digest. These little purple marks on the ground, you see where the orbs are? That's telling us next round, more things are spawning there. Isn't that fun? And in the meantime, we have uh, these fellas to deal with. Pretty tanky. Uh, everybody's doing a big AoE. Uh, so they're doing four damage in an AoE, four damage in AoE. They're dropping pools that will do five damage, so we want to avoid that. And since we can see our movement, I know that like if I walk over here, I'll be taking no damage at the end of the round. I'll pop up next to enemies uh, that will obviously try and attack me next turn. But, you know, maybe that's a problem we solve. Then we don't worry about it now. Who's to say? I could throw my spear here. Hit a couple of them. Teleport. Get the double damage. Do a good whirlwind. Walk out. Probably how we're going to open this up. Let's do that. I'm going to spear. Jump. Smite and mark. So we do double damage to him. 
And then while we have uh, the velocity buff that gives us extra damage, look to see how much Whirlwind would do. And that's a good bit of damage. However, I think even if I take an action in this pool, I'll take immediate damage. I think I'll take three immediate damage. Um, which is just problematic because I'm trying to get everybody in the outer ring. Uh, and that actually does it without me stepping into the pool. So I activate that. They're bleeding. Uh, as well as burning. So they won't die yet. Uh, I did also just realize that because of the movement I just used, I won't be able to escape um, all the damage, I don't think. However, not necessarily the case. Because I walk over here, pick up the power orb, and it gives us a little extra movement. But then, he has five damage. He's definitely going to bleed. We're not out of range. Everybody end up there. They all do their attacks. New dudes spawn. More dudes are still going to spawn. My low. And almost, in fact, no, I think everybody is, aside from him, is direct targeting us. So they're out for blood. So this one's good for a single target. Who's doing the most damage to us? This fella. He's doing five direct damage. And because these guys lived and we have that current world uh, debuff, they all get increased attack every turn they're alive. So we obviously don't want them living for many turns. Uh, but we did get Whirlwind back. So I can kill these pins. But will that be enough to find a way to deal with those? Not a clue. Um, I could pull this guy with Mark. Uh, and then Whirlwind. Try and get him in the, the outer ring. I think we can do that. We pull them a little bit. But now... We're going to... Eh, that guy's not in the Whirlwind. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We got one more action point left, which doesn't seem like much. But we can pick up that orb over there for one more. I'm going to grab the orb. And then I know I can kill this fella. Uh, and then I walk out. And this is just how it do be sometimes. I'm going to take nine damage. And that's it. You can't always avoid all the damage. Uh, I could use this potion to get ten shield. And maybe I will, simply just because I'm only losing out on one shield. And I won't have to heal it off later. And instead, I can get another potion, possibly. Usually get a decent amount of potions. And then if you have two, you, uh, you have to decide which ones you want to keep. So we'll just do that. Because of that, we don't actually take any damage. And we're back to it. Taking 29 damage. Ow. So he is the person we're least worried about because he's not direct target. He's doing this and we can easily avoid that. Everybody else, however, they need to chill. I'm going to hit them all with the Naomi. I'm going to hit them all with the teleport. And then we're going to... Oh, 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 yeah. We're going to whirlwind for some crazy damage. Easy. We're going to kill him. We're going to get one more from this power orb. We're going to kill him. Move over here. Next turn, we're going to take care of this dude. It's just that easy. In fact, I'm even going to pull you to mark you. Then we're going to hit you once. Hit you twice. Hit you a third time. I'm going to pick this up. Hit you again. A bada bing bada boom. It's important to note those power orbs that show up on the ground only sit on the ground for two turns. After the second turn, they'll disappear. So you usually want to take advantage of them when you can, but we got Big Quilling, which gives us like 130. Pretty good. Tarnished Vault gives us more items. On turn in, gain stacks of Shattered Will. On collecting an orb, which are those power orbs I was just talking about, gain stacks of Spiked. Or gain more Quillings. Now see, again, this isn't great because like 
As far as I can tell, nothing crazy here that my character really wants to do. We could go for a will build. Trying to just get more will to activate all of our abilities in a turn. Um, this one has Orb Lord. Which means orbs grant us extra movement. But I'm not crazy about these. So, just for the sake of it, I'll show you what it's like to reroll. So we'll use the quillings we just got. And now we have some new options. So we could actually get another uh, one of Victor's. We already have one, but you can have multiple. I do believe they also count towards the same thing. So we would actually get extra crit damage. Uh, on being hit, we gain a small amount of quillings. And this is fabled. I think it's pretty cool. On turn in for each of your leftover wills, gain a small amount of money. Uh, on turn in... You get a whole bunch of stuff if you end your turn with without um, that stuff. Or token of regret. We get a will reserve. Um, so I guess... I can save one in between rounds. We lose HP though, and we lose shielding. Um, oh no, I think I would just get one free one. And then if we get three Ancient Wisdom, we get another Will Reserve. Another Will Reserve. Another. I'm assuming they all sort of come with downsides though. So this one makes us more squishy, but we get to do more things. This one helps us with our crit build if we wanted to. Uh, but Gamba, we're going to grab that, lose some HP. But now we get more uh, will. So, And then we get to choose our last binding for the run. We can get incendiary. Magic damage deals 50 damage in a small area and inflicts burn. Blink lets us teleport a far distance away. On turn start, full cost discount. So it's free if it's available. Uh, an ally gains one stack of blur, which reduces all incoming damage from attacks by one per stack, and gains critical charge on a random binding. We get this every four turns. Um, so, I like the critical charge on a random binding. Blink helps us get out of some really bad situations. Like Sometimes you just can't do anything and you're stuck taking like 40 damage, but... If you had Blink, you can teleport out of all the attacks. Helps with positioning. Um, incendiary. I don't know if we're crazy about that one. It's also magic damage. It's not really what we're shooting for. So... <sighs> we'll try after him. Sure. Now we continue on. We can go to the study. Which is a story thing, I think. And maybe I have a quest there. I don't know. Sea Breach, which is another random event. Or a Vestigial Shrine. Vestigial Shrine. Destroy Vestige to permanently gain double its set. Oh. I forgot about this. So this is how you get some of those crazy high set bonuses. Because, um, like over here, right? We have one Reaver. Crit damage. You need eight. But like... You only have six item slots. How in the world are you supposed to get eight? Well, like this. You can sacrifice your vestiges. You lose them. But then you get both. So, like, I could get rid of Victor's uh, vestige. Wouldn't have it. But, ironically, I would have two Reaver, and I would just permanently have crit damage for the rest of it, and then we could keep stacking Reaver. Or something like Verdant Spirit, which is pretty good. Um, we would get both... Uh, Stat like both set bonuses to begin stacking these if I wanted to. Um, getting rid of this isn't great because I think I've already lost the max HP. Um, but it also means we forego getting other possibly cool stuff. And since we're not like full on vestiges, maybe we don't need to worry about it. Um, I also forgot when I was grabbing these about set bonuses, like we definitely don't need these. Uh, so I'll sell it or something. But we're going to go to the study. Because I don't remember what that is. And it appears to be a quest related. Okay. So he needs me to do something. And if I do, I get a new item. Uh, okay. 
Okay, wait. Oh. Okay, so now I need to find somebody else. But, ooh, he had a superior vault. Which gives us the Shattered Crown. On hitting enemies for the first time each turn, inflict Shatter. Which means they are more susceptible to physical damage, which we do. We get another Sprout. Which would give us both the set bonuses. And that would start stacking max HP and healing us. Or Effigy on collecting the orbs smite nearest enemy. Which also gives us uh, the access to the Storm Keem set bonus. Which gives extra smite damage. It's all about smiting. Or orbs granting movement. Striker also just gives extra physical damage when you invest into it. Uh... I think as much fun as that would be. We're going to go with this because uh, I want to go on Gabunga, I guess. I don't know if that's a great option. But... Good. On to the next one. A normal fight. Boring. Tarnished Vault and Quilling Case. So uh, an item and currency. Item and uncommon augment. Item and a Glyph Clop. You'll whatever, which is the other currency that's rare to get. A little purple thing, but that lets you reroll like augments. And stuff. We're just going to go with augment and item. The harder battle, but we win those. Get a new potion, which gives us shield and spike. Like some more quillings. And with Gucci. Um, oh yeah, I do need to get back to that stuff. Hang on. And pure salts, yeah, this will probably be on the uncut channel. Um, oh, we need to kill this dude. Okay, so we got a couple of things going on. I don't remember what these dudes are, but this fella, he's a treasure pot. So every quarter of HP, he drops currency, and defeating it drops even more. However, he's only here for two turns, and he's pretty tanky. But if we are able to take him out, I would not complain. And I'm going to try and do that. So he's also shattered. Um, I'm going to do the AoE so that we get extra damage on our next attack. And then we're going to try and hit him on the edge of this. He's already pretty weak. Um, don't need to have... Nobody's direct hitting me, so I can just like run over here. And uh, take no damage. And it's important to note, too, you can move around to see what you want to do. And as long as you don't take an action, you can always return to wherever you started, and it doesn't take movement. Um, so you can always, like, see, like, ooh, nah, I don't want to do that. Or, like, oh, what if I came over? Nah. Which is really nice. There's definitely a lot of stuff to keep track of. Um, so I'm going to see if there's a way. Okay, so this lets me hit both of them. Or maybe, maybe I want to take out these guys. And then I'm out of um, points. But I can pick this up. And hit him again. And now we're Gucci. We're going to sit here. The debuffs ended up killing him. So we got all the extra stuff from him. I think he ends up dropping like 150. Which is 100% worth. Um, Apparently they took the... The fact that I didn't think they were a threat personally. Uh, and now they're all threats. So. Um, about that. I'm going to use our after image. Now pay attention when I do. Because. Oh that's actually huge. When an ability has this like fire icon below it. It means it's now critically charged. So when you use it next time. It's going to create. You can tell. Definitely going to do a lot more damage. And it'll do even more if I pick up the power orb. Uh, go here. Teleport. Get velocity for the extra damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we hit him with the whirlwind. You can see the crits. I, got a, I completed a quest. It's just that easy. And now we walk over here. I'm going to whack him. And I'm going to whack him again. And we're going to my turn. Now, a lot of ads are still spawning, but it's probably last turn of ad spawns. But I do want to worry about the fact that these guys, while they are alive, 
are continuously to get more damage. So they're doing 50% extra damage. And unfortunately, they're doing this really cool thing where they you can't avoid their attack. So you see this like AoE pulse they're doing? That's letting you know it's hitting the entire battlefield. There is no dodging this. So you either, like if you have a way to, you know, stun them or interrupt them or kill them. We're going to try and kill them. Ideally. Uh, at least kill one to mitigate some of the damage. Um, so I'm going to pull them to me. Then I'm going to grab this power orb so I can whirlwind again. This does decent damage. It kills one of them. The other one is alive and well, but there's only so much I can do. I'm still taking 17 damage. I walk here, still taking 14. Because he's doing 6, 10, 14, yep. So I don't think I'll be able to kill him in time. But I do think... Uh, I can hit them, and in fact, I can hit all three with this. Which helps stack some of the bleed. But a little bit weaker. And we're going to take 10 damage. Except I'm just going to go ahead and use this so we don't take any. And in fact, we do a little bit of damage back. And we're vibing. Some of this teleport. Grab this. Uh, AoE. Stupid! So you also start to see, like, the play pattern for a lot of the archetypes, or, like, sort of your combos, what you're looking to do, or where your, where your build's taking you. We've got a whole bunch of common vestiges. When collecting an orb, gain shield. On your turn, inflict stacks of frostbite. You don't do any of that elemental stuff. Or on my first turn, gain a stack of blur. It gives us ambusher and swift. These are all kind of butts. I'm not going to lie. We're rerolling. We could inflict... Oh, actually. That is super gamba. We could get another token of regret, which gives us another will to use. We'd have six. But that means we're th minus 30 max HP and minus four shielding. Which means, like, we'll never get shield. We're down a whole bunch of HP. But... One more will. And if we get a third, that's another will. But that's really gamba. This one gives us extra physical damage. I don't think Shatter really stacks. If it did, that'd be sick, but I don't think it does. Shatter does not stack. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, screw it. We're getting greedy. So we got another will. I'm down to 22 HP. You typically start with 50. And this thing is giving me... Plus two max HP. So I should be at 20. But, uh, eh. Sue me. We get to upgrade one of our augments now. So we can make it so that uh, Grasp goes from a four turn cooldown to a three turn cooldown. Deadly Whirlwind gives extra damage and extra crit chance. Or our primary impale attack inflicts three stacks of bleed to the nearest enemy as well. Which is pretty good. We, I, I have been heavily relying on this whirlwind attack. So for it to just do extra damage and have a better chance to crit? Not terrible. But again, if I'm really relying on it, maybe want to wait for better augments. Because there's like rare and epic augments, I believe. Minus one cooldown on this. We could get... I don't know if I'm crazy about it. But this already inflicts one bleed. So the first person we hit with this would be four bleed. And... Um, 60 damage currently, double damage to the nearest enemy. So maybe we just do that. And then we get to choose what we want to do next. So we can get a free binding augment and the option to purchase another, or this fella, this grinder, the vestige extractor. So. Here's where I'm hoping this works out well for us. I'm going to discard this token of regret. So we lose its abilities. So we won't get one will reserve, the extra HP, or and then the loss. But 
Ideally, no loss of HP and shielding. However, it doubles its current set. So it'll give us two Ancient Wisdom. will actually put us at three, and we get another Will Reserve for free. At least that's how I think it should work. And it is. So we got the HP back. We didn't immediately heal it. But now you'll see it says three over here. So this is our only set currently activated, which gives another will. So if we can do that with this too, oh, that'd be great. We're just getting like the, the bonuses without the negatives. We love that. But now we're about to come to the end of this first world book story, whatever, of the dive. But right before we get to go to the shop, the boss. Um... But before it can reach into the world, it's silenced at the surface. Something deep and hurtful keeps the life at bay. Anger? No. Grief? Maybe. This is a world made for one who was lost, and another who hopes to find her again. I complete the quest. Sick. Don't mind if I do. We got a shop here where I can buy vestiges for... Quillings. He has a rare one, but it is uh, frostbite stuff, which we don't care about. We have the tiny heart stone, which restores one HP at the end, uh, beginning of each turn. Or these burn gauntlets, which I don't even like the fact that I have in the first place. I can restore HP for 150, but <laughs> whatever. Be buying or be moving. Okay. Or we can buy an uncommon augment for 100. Uh, I think we're going to do that. So our spear does extra damage and extra crit chance. The after image minus one base cooldown. Or inflict four bleed on far enemies, which we already have. So we can inflict eight bleed on far enemies, but I don't, I don't love that, I don't think. But this thing also doesn't do much damage, and that would mean it is now full as well. Maybe... We give after image minus one turn. And then it's expensive. Because I want to reroll and then I would also still have to buy. Don't love anything we have here. Uh, but this activates uh, vigorous forest, which gives us one vigor. Uh, which I think we heal at the end of the turn for each figure we have or something like that. And he heals us a little bit. So, sure. You could buy multiple, but again, I don't I don't really like what, what he's got to offer. So we're just going to hope that this is enough to fight the Guardian battle, a.k.a. this realm's boss. And what do we got? We've got the Capitol, who has 4,000 health. Good. He also has a pip in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, when he reaches that, he can't be damaged for the rest of the round. And then he might enter like phase two or something. Who really knows? But he also has a unique effect. He has soul shield. Four stacks of it. He has 25 damage resist per stack. So currently, he has 100%. I can't hurt him. He has 100% damage resist. However, each time an ally dies, he loses a stack. So we need to kill his allies, and then we're able to kill him. And then I assume... When we hit half point, he'll get all that back. He'll respawn dudes. We gotta do it again. If I had to take a old wild guess. So, let's get the kill on his friends then. We're gonna teleport over here. And I wanna get some of you on the outside. Like that. Oh yeah. And since he's marked, it does a lot more damage. Uh, I'm being hit, lose on stack. On turn. Okay. I'm going to pull this guy to me so he's also marked. And then you can see we do way more damage to those guys now. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, actually, I'm going to do this and hope we can get a crit on Whirlwind. But it is random. Okay, we didn't. It do be like that. But that's right. Uh, still have a decent attack here. And I can still grab a power orb. Hit him again. And... Ooh, if we squeak right in here. 
If I go here, I'm like, oh, one damage. But if I they squeak right here, we're barely out of it. We get zero damage. Easy peasy. And again, Vigor did something, but I... Vigor. On hitting, restore one HP and lose one stack per enemy hit. Okay. We gotta kill these dudes, though. Uh, and... Don't exactly know why they got shielded, though. Is that what he did? Might have been what he did. Oh, and he's doing an AoE attack with tiered. So... How much damage is this dude doing? Six damage. But I think... Might be more or less depending on how close I am. I don't know. I don't like it though. And these guys are direct attacking me, so they're our biggest threat. Um, I'm going to line it up so my spear hits both of them. Although if I do it that way, I won't be able to grab this thing. So. Why do they have, like, being hit increases attack? What the fuck? Okay, well, screw you. have some sort of a shield. Um, if we do this, the way I hit everybody, yeah, this hits all four of them. Uh, we can some even more. I think this guy will die to... All the various debuffs he has. In fact... No, he won't quite. This guy should die to all the debuffs he has. So I'll throw it there. Okay, but it's after the enemy attack. Okay, so... Fuck. I'm gonna die. Means I'm still taking too much damage. Same with that guy. If I attack in this, I take damage. Gosh. Uh oh, but that will kill all. Three. Okay, so if I get all the way out here, oh, three damage. That's not bad. That's what we can do. And then. Yeah, I don't think he's going to respawn people until I get him to his next phase. So all we need to do now is kill him. And now we are free to hurt him as much as we want. We're going to mark him. And we're just going to start using everything we got. Uh, we only take four damage out here. Yeah, all right. We want to move closer. We're going to take more damage. But we now have two power orbs to work with. And I got an after image to crit with Impale. I'm going to collect his power orb. Mark him. Uh, stab him. Hit him. Hit him. Gather that. Oh. The debuffs might end up uh, pushing him to the second phase. Okay, it did. Second phase, same thing. We got to kill all the new uh, adds, which is doable. We're going to activate this to get whirlwind crit, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to pull him to mark him for extra damage as well. And I'm going to grab power orb. So I can put the spear down, pick up the spear. And now on our next attack, doing 50% extra damage. As well as double damage to this dude. And it's going to crit. So this is like our best bet. And that's pretty good. Uh, we're still taking... Oh, we only take one damage out of here. So, I'm just going to hit this guy, and by extension, I'll be hitting the captor. Not doing much damage, but I am applying the bleed debuff, which will matter eventually. 
And then we take one damage. Stupid. He's gonna try and threaten me. He's gonna try and threaten me. Will he kill everyone he knows and loves? Or Morse. I dealt damage, which I guess is a quest thing. And right here is five damage. There's the least we can take. Ah! Okay, but now it's mono a mono. I'm gonna go here. Mark. Mark again. This does 90 damage. 180 to far in this. Yeah, that's our best. We're gonna go for a crit. We get the crit on the whirlwind. This game is so free. 819 damage in one go. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, still gonna take four damage, but. And then on this turn, I will wanna say we can kill him. But we need to march him. Maybe get a crit again? No, but that's okay. And it's just it. What is this? Spool? Okay. That's new. I guess it's a quest I had to do again. I don't know. I get to restore 75% of my missing HP. Easy. I get to ascend a binding. Which like evolves it. Makes it like Omega. But the binding that picks is random. And Grasp is one of the ones I care the least about. What we would have wanted to see is like evolve whirlwind or so actually just like our base ones those are more interesting but we could change it so that we deal 100 damage to sing on me pull them towards me but i inflict vulnerable instead of marked which means incoming damage from attack bindings increased by 50 percent until the end of the turn um which means we get more benefit from them uh after the fact, to the mark. Deal 100 damage to enemies in a wide cone and all, pull all of them towards me. That would make, you know, setting them up for Whirlwind easier. Or we could, we have three Glyph Globules, whatever the fudge. For two, we could reroll. The problem is, we don't know what it's going to reroll to. And honestly, this option is not bad. However, um, counterpoint. Let me introduce my friend, Gamba. See, that's worst case. That was... That's why we didn't. Okay. I care less, even less about this one. Um, ugh, okay. And we can't reroll again. And all I gains a critical charge on all binding. Actually, that's... Well, that's nice. And now I gains two stacks of blurs, gains critical charge on two random bindings, and gains 50 movement. Note, too, that this has an ally. Stuff like this is how you can interplay with cooperative play if you're playing with other people. Um, but in this case, if it ever says ally and you're by yourself, it means you. So I would get this. Two stacks of blur means I reduce all attacks that turn by two. And then I gain crit charge on two random bindings. And we gain some movement. But, um... I like the idea of everything being crit instead of needing the Gamba. So, do that, and then we get an epic augment. Which is why I said sometimes you don't, you know, you want to keep some spaces free. Because like this, our whirlwind could now do 40% extra damage and inflict shatter to all near enemies. Making them more susceptible to physical damage. However, the first time I hit an enemy each turn anyway, I inflict shatter, but... It also means I could get rid of that later, and then I still do it. Our primary attack would cost zero will, and it gains 30 damage the first time it's used each turn. So the first time each turn, it's zero will, and then it gains 30 damage, I'm assuming, the rest of that turn. Or Mirror Image grants 50 Omni damage until the end of the turn. Very tempting. So now when, when I use mirror image, all attacks get critically charged and we get 50 Omni damage, which is obviously it 
both physical and magical. So that could be good to set up a turn. This is good all the time. And this is really good too. If we're if we have a whole bunch of will and are spamming this in one turn. This would fill up the slots though for this. Because as you've you might have seen, some turns we we use impale like five times. That would definitely make impale more tempting. However, screw it. We'll just make it so that any turn we use mirror image, we're just gonna try and pop off. That's that's the idea there. We are on to the next, I don't dive, second floor, I don't write page. It's a book. Anyway, we keep going. I believe the third one uh, is when we get to the boss. Hello, there, needless. Hello. Oh, would you look at this? We get another vestige to uh, throw something away, and then we get double the bonus. Very tempting. I think we just throw this away, right? Because then we get five ancient wisdom gives. Essentially, we'll get the two will reserve this would give, except unlike uh, the we don't we just don't get the negatives. Or we go this and get extra crit damage. I feel like we just get. I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh wait, I can do multiple vestiges. Wait, that is that new? That might be new. Wait. Wait. Oh, this one. Oh, because this one doesn't double what you get. Uh, okay. So I don't really want to feed it anything else then. This would be more so like. Well, I guess I am. You're full on vestiges and you want to get the, the next thing. Which I guess I could consider. I want to get rid of these because. I'm not doing a burn build, but um, nice having the burn right now, but ah, whatever. Yeah, I'll just sell it. And then this helps me restore one HP's turn. Yeah, whatever. All right, we move on to the next one. The silent promenade. The the uh, modifier. Each time an enemy is hit, they gain six damage resist until the end of turn. Up to five, max five stacks. So you can't chip away somebody in a turn. You do a lot of damage in one go. Uh, each turn, create a bomb near me. Or pacifism on turn start. Again, pacifism lowering all my damage. Don't love that. You do get two glyph globulars or whatever, which are the rarest. You could go for the a damage resist. Mm, screw it. We're going past Vism, which means I'll get weaker as we go on, but we'll just finish the fight fast. Fine. Probably. Maybe. God, I hope so. Derelict Starship. I don't think I've ever been to this biome. This is cool. Oh, wow. Okay. We got some elite enemies that would give us an uncommon augment, big quilling, uncommon augment, and rare augment, superior vault, and an uncommon augment. And that's a normal battle. That's actually not that bad. Superior vault is probably a rare vestige. Sure. I'm actually going to take the normal one because I feel like it's giving me. Currently, what the fudge is this? I didn't all altogether love that. Um, but I need it. And by extension, it'll be a little easier, maybe. Uh, on its turn, it loses a third of its max HP and spawns a slime slimp. On being hit, we'll turn to face the attacker. So they're just doing AoEs. As long as they are doing this pool, I think I can get out of range. But we can make this relatively easy. I hope. If we go there. Teleport. Uh, then activate uh, shadow image. 
We now have crit on everything. And you'll see we're about to do approximately a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. And I'm going to hit you. I'm going to come over here. And is there a way I can hit both of them? I can't quite. Uh, that hits both of them, which means we actually kill one. The other one should kill itself when it spawns the other one. Nah, see? Now, unfortunately, we get debuffed. So we do a little less damage. Doesn't mean it's impossible, but what is this dude doing? He's going to jump at me for three damage. You guys are jumping. You're doing kind of whatever. So tanky. My God. What have I done? Letting the days go by. Uh, I'll pull him in. And then... Mm, try and hit... Uh, them on the edge. I can't get all of them in the edge. But that's okay. Still hits everybody. Uh, we can you know, grab the power orb, hit you again, and then hit you again. You're gonna live with five health. That's I'm gonna take five damage for nothing, but that's okay. All right, but now we get to pop off because throw our spear, jump to the spear, shadow image to get crit on everything, whirlwind, everyone on the edge. Yeah. Hit you. Gather that. Unfortunately, we're still gonna take three damage, which turns into. No, yeah. Three damage. Unfortunate. But now he's dead. Not great. But it's alright. We'll take it. Anonymous with another gifted sub. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Whomever you are, really appreciate you. And the Sacred Scroll. Thank you very much for another raid. Welcome, Raiders. We're playing a sick roguelike. Granted, it's taken like over an hour to just even really explain the game. But once you get it, and then it just... It just... It's great. Alright? It's... It's, ooh. Okay, well, I probably don't have to tell you gold is really good, aka the rarest rarity in the game. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But it's for burn. On inflicting burn, inflict four additional stacks of burn. I don't inflict any burn. Oh. It also gives Thaumaturge. I'm not even going to try it. What the fuck? Uh, when an enemy is inflicted with at least two effects, which I make them bleed, so burn and bleed, <coughs> everything gains damage, and I gain damage resist. This is actually insane. But I don't have any. So the only problem is I can get this, and then we can look to get into burn. But it has to be a vestige that lets me burn, not just enhances burn. Because I would or I don't apply any burn. Uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, otherwise, we could get uh, this, which would eventually give us crit chance and damage resist. Ah, screw it. It's legendary. I'm just I'm gonna take it. Hopefully we get something. I feel really dumb for getting rid of the other thing. But how was I supposed to know? When teleporting to the spear, gain one velocity. Oh, I get two velocity, so my next two attacks do 50% action. It's not bad. Target gains precise, aka me, which is 100% crit damage per stack. Or 100 extra crit damage. And we're already going to guarantee a crit, so our next attack crits with 100 extra crit damage. Pretty good. Or we could now inflict 8 bleed on people we hit on the outside. I actually just like, I like all these. 
One extra velocity ain't bad. Extra crit damage isn't bad at all. 100 extra crit damage to be precise. And then 8 bleed. I think I'm... I think I'm just going to take this crit damage. That way, our crit whirlwind is even more likely to pop off. All right, uh, we get to go to a random store event. We get to go to a place to spend our earnings, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Or destroy vestiges to permanently gain double its stats. Well, I don't want to get rid of that. The problem is, unless we get something that does burn too, this is even like getting its set values is useless to us. We don't do burn damage. Pretty used to watch you in middle school, man. I have no context. You could still be in middle school. Who knows? I'm going to assume that's a long time though for you. So good to see you back. See you, Skull. Have a good one. Good luck with your lock with Joey, by the way. What the fudge? I thought I could. Oh, okay. Um, I don't really I'm kind of valuing the the buffs they're giving too much. That would give us damage resistance. This is healing us. Yeah, I don't think we get rid. So I think we gamble with the story. Then. Gamba, and we're getting free random stuff. And I got this thing. The nearby sea breach just. Juts through the ground, exposing the sea of ink between crags of un. And the exposed sea provides access to an almost forgotten story. Okay, what is it? Assuming that's for a later mission. Alright, what's the story event? Within the breach, you see the fabled mirror of glamours, said to grant the viewer whatever it wants most. This mirror has led to the happiness of few and the demise of many. For whatever you are given that you want, you are also given that. Uh. For whatever you are given that you want, you are also given a gift much darker. Still, you peer into the mirror and gaze at your reflection. What is it that you desire? Hmm. What's the downside? We get extra crit chance with a better chance to find crit sets. Although we have a way to guarantee crits. So we don't need to worry about that. Matt, I think we're going to go with physical damage with a greater chance to find physical sets. So what's the downside? Do we only get like two options now or something? I don't know. Uh, a heroic vault. I think that's better than a superior vault. Sheesh. Let's find that. I don't know. We're going to go find out together. Together. Forever. This is an elite one. Uh are these dudes? I've never been to this place. Qui Quillian armor. On turn start, gain 322 shield? While it has shield, deal 2 damage to the attacker. Huh? How's that seem OP? Is there a way I can hit 3 with this? No. Okay. I feel like I have to kill these Quillian things. But it's also going to damage me. I'm going to take four damage. Which is, they're going to get an insane amount of shield. I like. Mm. And then these guys are just going to keep spawning stuff. But I don't know if I can do anything about that. But I need to mark them. With this. Actually, okay. I'm just going to hit this guy. But then put the spear right next to Quillian. So hopefully it marks him. Did not. Yeah, unlucky. Okay, well, what do you do? Uh, this would mark him, though. Take a little bit of damage, that's right. Now we're going to activate this. Everything's going to crit. And then, oh my, oh my. Yeah. I'll do. All right, we kill him. We're taking zero damage. All right. Unfortunately, he's going to shield, right? Oh, what is it? It's because I broke it. He's now vulnerable and is regrowing its armor. Okay, so I want to kill it now. 
This dude's doing nine damage with his bazooka shot, I guess, for this thing. That guy, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not too worried about. Maybe that's my mistake. Underestimating him. But I don't think that's the case. And I'm just gonna peek over here. Oh, and he's so weak. Ah, but we can't come. Oh, never mind. The bleed will do just fine. All right, a steady. Well, that fell to me. This is guaranteeing a crit. Uh, so don't mind if I do. Level up. Oh my! I guess my account. I'm like, wait, you can't level in game. What's that about? I also keep doing less damage because of this pacifism thing, which is making it harder and harder, but I'm getting there. Uh, that'll do extra damage. Kill you. And this guy, I can't avoid this eight damage. Seems like a good bit. I don't love that. Yes, it's true. And I owe it all to you, oh, I... And he's dead. Okay. Heroic Vault. Is Superior better than Heroic? I thought it wasn't. That was Tarnished Superior. I think it is. Tarnished Superior Heroic. Anyway. Uh, what do we got here? Any of these burn? Doesn't look like it. On defeating an enemy with your damage more than double their max HP. Gain okay, well, I don't do that. On dealing bleed damage, gain a stack of vigor. Well, like everything I do bleeds. Um, That's pretty good. Uh, and then we could actually build into something that gives us extra bleed damage. Bindings that do not deal damage have minus one base cooldown. Like... Our shadow image, that's really good. If we get more star walkers. And then we already have vigorous. Or you and your allies are immune to rooted and ensnared. Your movement cannot go below 20, does not stack. That seems good, but I'm going to be greedy and pretend I'll never need it. This blood boiler is good, although we could re-roll for a burn thing. But this vigor thing would help us stay alive. I'm taking this. It seems a little too good. Then we get an uncommon augment and flick sap on defeat. Restore two HP per stack to the attacker. Lost enemy turn to end. That's not that great. Uh, our main attack would do a little bit extra damage and a little bit extra crit chance. I don't actually really like any of these. Or inflict floor bleed on farm. We could re-roll, but uh, using that on this, I mean. Screw it. I guess we're applying 8 bleed with that thing. We can get a free binding augment and a option to purchase another, a story event, or place to heal and buy and stuff. Story event, y'all. We got a potion. Yay. Survey says, two colossal vultures are perched above you with their eyes drilling into you. One's a deep crimson, the other is luminous gold. Even from afar, you can sense their hunger, a primal thirst for possessions only prey could provide. You dare feed them in hopes of some reward. We could lose 5 HP with a chance to get a valuable reward, increases odds of reward each attempt. Or lose quillings, a chance to get a valuable reward, increases the odds of reward each attempt. We're going to use our health. Gamba! Oh, we immediately got something. Oh. What did we get? On gaining crit, gain three stacks of Shattered Will. Uncommon, Augment, and Money. Uncommon, Augment, Rare Augment. Uncommon, Augment, Heroic Vault. I do just like my items. Although we're full now, so we would want to... Do the thing where we like get throw it in the thing to you know what I'm talking about. Maybe we just go augments here. Oh, we can fish. Got a lucky horseshoe crab. 
Consume to get extra crit chance and crit damage. Loss of the end of combat. Well, that's pretty good for... Uh... Loss fight. Here, I'll drop this. We extra currency. Oh, heck yeah, brother. All right, bring it on. What are the... What is that thing, dude? Oh, 2300 health, my brother in Christ. Glass cannon. Deals 50% increased damage and takes 50% increased damage. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and there's the money dude. Well, we got to get the money dude. We also got to take care of these dudes. Because, uh, oh, what the fudge. Jump to this. All right, we marked you, so then I'm going to mark you too. Then I'm going to give us crit. And then we're going to... Ray. All right, that actually kills him. And we do some damage to the pot. Huge. Still take seven damage because I can't prevent it, which is okay. And yeah, I just don't. I don't love that, but, but I have an army damage boost. We got some shattered will. You take the power orbs, great. Make you bleed a little bit. But yeah, every time somebody gets bleed, we get shattered will. In 10 stacks, we get another one. So that will activate pretty regularly. What is it? Okay, so he's going to swing his tail for 12 damage, Jesus. Somebody's compensating. Um, I'm gonna grab this orb. Uh, and then... Do this. I'm gonna teleport to our spear. And then I'm gonna give us crit on everything again. This kills like everything, essentially. Stupid! And we got Shattered Will, so we got another... Uh, another thing to work with here. Apply a whole bunch of that. Walk out. Zero damage. Stupid. Bleed kills him. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna we're gonna pull you. Use the power orb. Uh, hit all you. We don't even know if I can kill anybody though. Another eight damage. It's just a lot of damage. We're we're getting chunked here. I don't love this. Ah! But on hitting, restore one HP and lose one stack per enemy hit. What? Okay, yeah. So I'm only healing for. But this gives us two HP back. Two HP back. Yeah, I mean, that's something. All right, let's take the rare augments. When teleporting, gain velocity. Okay, we've seen that one. Gain shield per secondary enemy hit. Or on turn start, full cost discount. Huh. Well, it's only one. Not crazy about these, but... Maybe getting velocity twice, sure. Gain extra crit damage until the end of turn per enemy hit with my impale. Gain a shield per near enemy hit or increased range. I don't have any of these. It's because I don't. This would fill our augments, and I don't. That, and that would fill that, and that's definitely not worth it. This is useless. Sure. Increased range. Why not? Okay, we can uh, go feed this thing a vestige to get double stats. Uh, we do need to make room for something. But the problem is, we're aside from this thing, we're using everything else. Because we like the crit damage. This thing is, I mean, I guess we get rid of this, but 
could be healing us. Um, this, this is slowly saving us as well. The, the shatter's too big. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to feed it the, the sprout. I'm sorry, little one. I don't like that noise. Makes me uncomfortable. But we get Vigorous 4 now. Um, which lets us stack that a little bit. And we get max HP after each combat. Obviously, it would have been better to have this stacking earlier on. Which I don't, but okay. You would also think you could open that chest, too. I mean, why would they put that there and not let me? That's us. All right, but right before the final boss for this zone, we get a restore HP, which I'm probably going to have to do. Another augment. Let's check the shop. Something to let me burn something. On hitting an enemy inflicted with burn, inflict one stack of frostbite. No. On your turn, smite enemies inflicted with burn or frostbite. After using both a magic and physical binding on your turn, reduce all cooldowns by one. Uh, isn't this one? That one's magical. Oh, and so is spear. It will give us more physical damage. Eh. I don't like this. Reroll. On hitting the enemy with frostbite. Oh, wait a second. Gain 10 Omni damage per current will. Oh. oh, what? There's apparently some set called Treasure Hunter. On defeating a treasure pot, permanently gain 10 Omni damage. We would have already gotten like 20 or 30. A little late for that, though. Uh, I have 657 Quillings. This would give us Will Collector and 10 damage per current will. So it's start, like the first attack we do is 50 Omni damage. I could Gamba again, but this one isn't bad. That Gamba is just absolutely useless. I put Burn. Okay, well... All right, if this goes terribly, it's your fault, chat. Okay. There's no burn. I'm being hit, gain 15 physical damage until the end of combat. On using a magic binding, gain a stack of dawn. I do that. Extra physical damage per stack until the start of next. On using a physical binding, gain a stack of dust. I'm gaining shield. I guess I'm going bone calcifier. Still no burn. Unlucky. It's dead. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, do we heal? Yeah. Then I'm not going to buy an augment. We're going to hold. All right. Here we go. I've never been. I don't even know what boss we could possibly get here. So. Yolo. The Mimic. Look at this dude. Mimicked Moss Cloak. On turn in, gain a Mimicked Shuriken. So just mimicking one of the archetypes we could have been. Mimic Shuriken. The Mimic's direct attack deals additional damage per stack. Max 5. But the more turns, the more damage he's going to do. Sweet. sweet, sweet, sweet. Noise. Um, holy. Wait. He's right. 20,000 HP? Oh. Well, last guy had like 5,000. I didn't get that much more powerful. Uh, well. Go here. Then ideally mark him. Hog. Um, and I think we're going to shadow image to get crit on everything. Uh, 
Well, that kills a whole bunch of stuff. Seems to work out pretty well. Maybe we did get a little bit stronger than I thought. My bad. I was unfamiliar with my own game. Uh, Does Mark... Double, on being hit, lose one stack. On turning... Okay, so it'll be gone anyway. So then I'm just going to use this. Hit him again. Uh, collect that power orb. Hit him again. And then we'll get hit, but that will activate <laughs> my bone calcifier, which will give me 15 physical damage until the end of combat. You've activated my bone calcifier. Stupid. And honestly, they're only doing two damage. Each one, though, I believe would activate my bone calcifier. So six damage, but 45 extra attack damage. Might be worth it. Um, I got to grab this power orb because our whole build is if we can use shadow image. And if we can't, then sort of whole, whole thing. Wait. Okay, so he's doing 19 damage this way. Good news is I can just go right behind him. Lol. And avoid all of his damage. Now again, I could do this and kill all of them. I could. But we don't have to. I'm going to use this to do maximum damage to him, however. You like that. And do it again. Then we can do it again. Then we can do it again. All right, go ahead and hit me. Oh, yeah, that's three free stacks of Bone Cow's Fire. Because that's out pacing the pacifism. Um, although at this point, I mean, I could probably just... I can't quite push him, I guess. Hold on. Get over here. Trying to activate his next... What the fudge? How much damage am I taking? Oh, Jesus. Wait, I can't stop him. Oh. Hold on. I really need to push. Okay, this will push him. Which reduce. Which. Oh. So I have no idea what he's going to shift into next. Guess we'll find out. Uh. I could let all these dudes hit me. And then we get all the bone cast fire. But also, it's just 15 damage. I mean, I click the orb. I actually can't even kill any. I'll just hit as many as I can, which is three of them. All right, well. You've activated my own cast so far. Although we are doing 150 extra physical damage right now. It's pretty good. Oh my god, we're taking 30. Mimic the Weaver. Inflicts red on hit. On turn end, deal two damage per stack. What the fudge? Oh my god. Uh, and there's no escaping his damage. Uh... But how much are... Or... How much is he doing to me? 19. Apparently. Okay. Obviously... No bueno. I don't think I need to tell you guys that, though. I'm going to try and mark boss. If I go there. Go over here. And then... Get him in the edge. Oh, but we're not. Hold on. Activate this. Then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stupid. Oh, my God. You never stood a chance. Hit him with that. Yeah. Hit him with that. Yeah. Hit him with that. Yeah. And we don't have enough movement to get the. We're still taking 10 damage, but. I think we got him next turn. Probably. Most likely. Uh, I'm going to pull him. I assume when I kill the boss, it'll be over. 
Activate that. Activate that. Give me that. Kill everything else. He's still doing two damage. Do this. To mark him. Oh yeah, baby. Freaking easy, dude. I was never worried. We did take a good well, how much health do I? That's not bad. Okay, we can't Ooh. Oh, now this is what we're talking about. Evolve our whirlwind. Now nah, we're talking. Alright. Deal 90 damage and double the far enemies like before. We're dealing, yeah, whatever. But gain two bleeding damage per far enemy hit until the end of combat. And we do be bleeding people. Or deal 150 damage, so just more damage. But excuse me, less damage to far enemies. Reduce the cooldown by one per nearby enemy hit. So we'd actually want to keep him near us. We no longer deal double damage. But we just do more damage to near enemies, less to far. And then we get the cooldown back real fast. But the cooldown also comes back pretty quick anyway. Plus, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. All the augments too are inflict bleed on far enemies. I want to do far, so. I was hoping for something a little more explosive. Oh, 50% more to far enemies. Okay, now I thought I said 50% less. So it still does more to far enemies. But. Uh. I don't know. Whatever. A lot of things apply bleed. So. Bleed it is. And an epic augment. Our primary attack. Oh, right. So cost zero will one time and then extra damage. Inflict a stack of marked on far enemies. Or extra crit damage and 100 extra crit damage. Hmm. This actually... Oh, fudge. This actually would have been good with the other upgrade if we were able to whirl one multiple times. Um, Yeah, this only makes this better. Which... It's not bad damage. Especially after this, we can guarantee a crit. Um, but no, it, it it only applies to the pull skill we have. Doesn't give us crit damage on other things. So the first time it's used each turn, though, plus 30 damage. So turn one, 75, then 105, then 100. It seems pretty good to me. I'm doing that script. Whatever. Can't stop me. YOLO! Alright, I think this is the last tier or whatever. Our glass lair. They have it. I don't get a choice. Okay. So I'm fighting this. Stupid. I'm gonna give you the chance. Wait, what the fudge? I'm just fighting the boss again? Eventually, the first boss. Each turn increases attack and shield of all enemies and creates a new minion. Increases attack for the rest of combat. Okay. Don't love that. Dude's doing six damage to me. This dude's doing four. Okay. Well, what if we go here? Mark you. Turn on crit for everything. Hit you with the far. Increase bleed damage. I could pull you. Wait, what is this? Each turn launches a bomb towards the player. Okay, well, I don't want him to increase attack and shield all enemies, so I'm going to try and kill him. We got him. And actually, I might be able to... No. Oh, unfortunate. 
So close. Ah. Ooh, oh, oh. Okay, those bombs are going to explode. I don't know what that dude's doing. 11 damage here. It's like this. Yo. Who has more health? Dude. Here. Like this. Turn on all the crits. Back it up. Oh, yeah. And one shot. And move over here. Plink away. Doing 53 damage. Oh. Okay, yeah, wait. No, I'm stupid. For some reason, I thought it was plus 30 damage the first time it, you use it each turn. It would add. So like, oh, the first time you use it each turn, it's free and it stacks damage. No, just the first attack does extra damage. But I still think it was the best option. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. But Wait, why the fuck? Well, I thought we were. Where'd you all come from? Um, you're all doing so much damage. Like, what are all of you? Uh, well, let's pull you. Gather that. I can't turn on crit for everything. Kind of. What the fuck? Kind of really bad. Oh. Uh, well. All right. I hate that I have to use this, especially because I'm about to fight the boss. But, oh, my. I, guys, you, reading's crazy. You, you guys ever just read? Not me. Cost discount. I thought it was turn discount. Oh, no. What have I done? Oy vey. Well, anyway. Hold on. Where am I? I just start chucking him this way. We can hit multiple people. That's got to be worth something. How much, how much damage can we do here? Not nearly as much as you think. Yeah, but I'm applying a lot of bleed, so... <sighs> this is going to hurt. The cool thing is... I would only apply bleed to him anyway. Okay, so that dude's Omega dead, for what it's worth. But, yeah, this is just 22 damage to the face. Literally nothing I can do. Again, we are like... Our build is this, you shadow image and then pop off. And if we can't, there do be a lack of popping off. A considerable lack. Um, okay, if I go here, that's zero damage. If I can go there. How do I... Oh, hell. Okay, I go over here. I guess. That hits everybody. That's the one I wanted to mark. So, Pog. Uh, turn on crit for everything. Grab that. Oh, that actually kills all of you. Oh, wait. Oh, that kills. We live! What is this? An ancient vault. What? On hitting, inflict one stack of shock. Why well, don't? A hundred crit damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. That gives us precision and reaver as well. So what do we get rid of? Um. I need that. It, maybe this one? No, wait, no. I I hate to say it, but uh, we got to get rid of this thing. I'm about to fight the final boss, and we have no burn. Now, there is one shot before the final boss, and if I found burn, I would cry. But there's also no guarantee for that. Uh, 
This gives us is activating Vigorous and Warden. The Shatter with this thing? Too good. And it's activating, what, the extra physical damage? Maybe we get rid of the Hearthstone. Bone Calcifier is actually pretty good. But then... Hmm. Throw it. We get extra crit chance and extra crit damage with just 100 extra crit damage. It hurts, but wait, what the fudge? I didn't realize there was another one. After using your first binding each turn, it gains cost discount and reduce cooldown by one. I could just use that for shadow, which we'd have it every time. On critting, gain one will once per turn. On combat and restoring to... That's not really going to help us too much. I don't have that many quillings to reroll. I kind of want to save them for the final shop. I don't think any of this beats out what we have. I mean, it beats out this... Okay, here's the other thing though. If if I find something with burn, what are we going to replace? Because every, all this, all, you see this, these all work together. It's great. This stuff, whatever. I'm sorry, chat. We're we're giving up on it. We're giving up. Sorry. On critting, we gain an extra will, and then we get a higher tier of crit chance, and then orbs grant a shattered will, which means even more likely chance to get an extra will in the turn. Although, having this for shadow image, meaning we could essentially get shadow image every single turn. It doesn't give us any set bonuses, but... Hmm... I think that's what we're going to do. Great. I, it hurts to leave it behind, but man, we got to extra damage and inflict shatter to all near enemies or gain an orb once per turn. Wait, you just actually became useful. Thank you. Thank you, my liege. All right. Well, It hurts. I just know. I just know because I just dropped it. That it's gonna. It's it's ogre. Okay, jokes on you guys. You're probably like, look, burn. No, see again. None of these give. I I still have no way to apply burn. I have no way to apply burn. So this doesn't actually do anything. So before you like, see, I told you, you actually. I actually made the right decision. These all suck. Uh, on on hitting, gain a stack of Shattered Will. That would be insane. I can't afford it, though. Just barely. Ah. Oh, wait. I don't think I can go back. Well, yeah, I can, but it, yeah, everything on the floor dropped. Dang. Okay, but I could, I could harvest something. I don't get double... But, like, getting rid of this, but I, I don't have enough money to buy any. Be buying or be moving. I want to heal. That put me at 170. Uh, and then... Okay, well, let me reroll. When combat end... The, uh, okay, no, I don't have a choice. All right, restore HP. All right, it's time for the Kraken. You all want this? Well, you're gonna get it. Oh, it's the Kraken. Oh, Jesus. Alright, 25 damage. What's going on here?
Uh, all right, 35,000 health with 50 damage resist when hit directly, but receives 100% of the damage dealt to tentacles. So we do half damage to his actual body. And then all of the tentacles, 25 damage resist per stack, loses a stack at the end of the turn. So, not great. Uh... Who's doing what? So you're doing four in a cone. You're doing four in a cone. You're doing three direct, three direct, and then you're doing 11 damage. So this is where we want to end up. Okay. Let's try this out. Start with shadow image. We should activate this. So now it's two turns instead of three, I believe, which means we only need one orb and then it'll be free next turn. Then we hit everybody with this. Ideally, Mark. Okay, sweet. Not the boss. Um, then I could mark somebody else. And then we're going to crit. Uh, make sure I get everybody. Well, oh, fudge. The problem is can't oh I think I am doing double damage to him right here. His health bar is No yeah, yeah I am six thirty now. Okay. So I can actually sit here and wait why did you already take so much damage? Oh because I pulled you. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do this. And then I wonder if the damage just applies to like bleed. If not, I would want to hit him. Could try and kill one of the tentacles. I think I might be able to kill this one. Although probably not this turn. Uh, maybe this turn. So yeah, this power orb, so next turn I gotta start with the other thing. Okay, well we killed one tentacle. Wait, he changed his attack? Did I force him to do that? No, he did. No, he did. Oh, no, he did. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. That's the point. We're good. All right. And... In the turn. All right. We're about to next phase him. So we start with our crit thing. Then I need to grab that power orb. Yeah, and then we're going to hit everybody here. Why did it put my ear? Whatever. You're doing AOE. I can't avoid that. I go here. That does max damage. That actually kills that one. And it pushes him in next phase. Which I don't know what that is. But it's, it's probably fine. I'll hold on to that orb. Take one damage. Uh, although. Well, do I want to hurt the tentacles? I could use them to actually just hurt him next. But. I can't reach you with that. Well, that's unfortunate. Or should I kill him? Can I apply bleed to him? <laughs> no. Oh, also. This gives me extra crit chance and crit damage. Lost the end of combat. I need to use that now. Duh. So now I guess I wait. Ah. That makes sense. Oh my word. 40. Okay, 24, but still, what the fuck? I don't love that. 
All right, we'll activate our crit. Grab the orb. This isn't back yet. Uh, I don't think I can actually move the... the tentacles themselves. No, I can't. Okay, good. Would have messed everything up anyway. All right, then... We hit... Oh, wait, wait, wait. But we do have... Another orb I can do. Alright, fine. Then... I'm gonna come over here. I can mark him. Then we back up. That kills him. 13 damage. Doable. Itcha. 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 Itch ya? Ah. Oh. So close to me and I'll hit him. Or kill him. Alright, we... We actually... Nah, I'm gonna wait. We're taking a little bit more damage because we're gonna let him live, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. We're still relatively healthy. Okay, so the bleed damage worked. Activate the crit. Uh, rather the power orb. Can I hit all four? You bet your bottom dollar I can. Wait. Yeah, you bet your bottom dollar I can. So freaking. And then. Oh, what the? What? Why does that do so much damage? Whoa. I don't know. I don't know, screw it, you're dead. Okay. There's a lot going right there, I guess. Uh, then spread the bleed here. Oh, we might be able to push him. What? Oh my God. How did we not push him? <sighs> That's depressing. Hopefully, ah, oh. yeah, because now we're gonna have a wasted turn. Yeah, nice push. I'm gonna have to wait. Oh no, we don't. What the fudge? Petrifying gaze on binding. Inflict snare to all players until the end of turn. Stacking up to four times. If he hits me, yeah, increased attack. Okay. Well, activate all of our crit stuff. Grab this orb. Uh, that hits everybody. I'm gonna go. Uh, and then hit you. Can't see how much damage I'm doing. Did that kill you? Yes. Uh, hmm? like what? I'm still in the. Oh, okay. Easy. Just stack that bleed, baby. Spawns more. Whoa! More things, but that's right. Oh, heavens. Okay, so I need to get, like, right here. These are said than done. Activate the crit. Yeah, this, this stone pitch pipe was worth it. It's so that we can actually use that every turn. Otherwise, I think we we were dead by now. Uh, let's see. If I activate power orb... I'm... Maybe there's a world where I kill? Just maybe... Well, I gotta tell you, it is a lot of damage, one way or the other. Yeah! Oh, we're so close to killing. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it, Cotton. Oh, let me grab this. I think I might be able to if I do this. Because now I get this. 
and then I hit. Oh, see, ladies and gentlemen, it's just that easy. The God Keeper keeping the gods in check. Oh my God. First run back, it's like I never left, bruh. Oh. Your personal best? I think it's because I've never used this dude before. Heck yeah, dude. Actually, wait, I don't remember this being a thing at all. Maybe this is just a new edition that I haven't seen. GG. Easy, my dudes. I don't mind if I do. Yay. See, this is where my friends would show up. I had him. Oh, but we leveled up. The solo rank. Did I get? What cosmetic? I haven't unlocked that yet. And then I got a progression reward. So this is how you, you unlock stuff just by like leveling the account. So I guess it's a new thing I'll be able to find on collecting an orb, gain on the damage. Sure. On your turn, reduce all cooldowns by one extra magic damage. 200 vault dust. Use vault dust to unlock vault cosmetics. Sure. My group rank do be zero. I do be a solo warrior. Space Cowboys level 83. Holy. Well done. I'm saying something's done over here. Yeah, I don't know what you want from me. What about you? Thanks. Okay, I... I unlock something. I don't know what I do. Oop. You peer down the well, looking for any evidence of a living person. You only find endless darkness and the faint sound of the sea. But a collection of voices drift from the depths. Needless, you have finally found us. Okay. Again, I just, it's something. What exactly? I don't know. But it's something. No, nope, not what I wanted. So now we're on challenge rank six. I don't know how high it goes. Probably like way higher than I think. Wanna give me anything? No. So I could find a party. Oh, you're missing the oh, oh. Honestly, been I don't know what any of that does. I forgot. You probably did that early on, but. Lost to me now. What's the daily challenge? Uh, after winning a battle, increase a random equipped set by one. Healing pools only restore three HP. Vaults now drop two random vestige vestiges instead of offering a choice. We have to beat the Kraken again. We gotta go through the Radiant Market and the Derelict Starship, and I think we can only play as... The Moss Cloak, dude. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Plus, we get bonus XP, bro. So, uh, in essence, though, we're not going to be healing. So, don't take damage. All right, so we get the Moss Cloak. Clips of Extraction. Comes with minus one will. Collecting an orb gives mitosis, which creates an additional orb next turn and lose one stack. Well, I don't really love that. But okay. Interesting. All right. Wait, so what do we do? Moss Cloak. Yeah, we throw a shuriken. Deals damage, has increased crit chance. We dash a medium distance, inflicting marked on somebody so we can do dub double damage. Gain a shuriken for each enemy you pass through in movement. Then deal damage, consume your shuriken, and unleash them forward, each dealing 30 damage. On your turn, gain a shuriken. 
Unleash them with my bindings. Max five stacks. Okay. 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 All right. We're going to get like the high score or something. Probably. Ocean supply. All right. So according to this, two random ones are going to pop out. Yep. What'd we get? Extra crit damage. You like that? And on my turn, 33% chance to gain Omni damage until the end of the turn. Amba. Uh, our, we can turn our main thing into a poison throw. The problem is we're going to have to account for the fact that we're probably not building... We can't really make a coordinated build. So it's not like, ooh, I'll do a poison build. Because I'm, I'm at the... The will of the gods for what we get here. So I think it's just trying to get good all around things. Um, minus one base cooldown seems good for this. Furnished vault times two. Furnished vault and quilling cage. Two tarnished vaults gives us what? Four vestiges immediately? I guess I should get money though, because then the only way I can actually make sure I get what I want is by purchasing things. Too late. Can't stop me. All right. We also have crit on this. Have fun. Okay. Quick mark for each enemy pass through. Gain 20 movement. Okay. That doesn't go quite as far as I thought it would. But this would hit three of them. Although, hold on, let me... I feel like I should grab this first. Because then another one will spawn next turn. Then do that. Deal 30 damage, consume shark, and, and unleash them forward. How many shuriken do I have? Zero. Right. Well, one. Wait a second. Yeah, this bone is about to hit me. And nobody else's. I didn't realize that. Well, I can hit both of them. Do damage. Word. See, now we got two orbs. Ooh. Which means technically next turn I could have like... Three if I didn't consume all of them, right? Can I hit all of them? I can. So I f oh, okay, so I for sure I can right now. Need to hit them because they're the ones actually trying to kill me. Although, if I go here, it'll give me. No, it's it. Oh, I do not get a shuriken for my throw. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well. Not a lot to do then. Already taking two damage. It's going to be rough to heal any of this off, but that's okay. We've got all the orbs, and, and that's what matters. I could hit multiple people. I don't think I take damage. No. Throw one. Throw another. Grab this thing. Do that again. <laughs> Grab this again. Now that would hurt me. This kills everybody. All right. And I leveled up. Oh, and because of this, after winning a battle, increase a random equip set by one, we got Treasure Hunter. So if we defeat a treasure pot, we permanently gain honor damage. Sure. Now we get random things. What we get? Future Willer on first turn, gain two will. And on your turn, smite the nearest enemy. 
We got two more random ones. Uh, and hitting enemies for the first time each turn inflicts burn and 15 magic damage. We don't do any magic damage. But that's okay. And then we get a new binding. Deal 23 damage in a large cone, inflicting frostbite. Which frostbite frostbite enemies. I'm being hit with a binding, deal magic damage, and lose a stack. 23 damage seems it's because we have like no magic damage, I assume, or something. Or no, I guess we do have a little extra. Steal a large amount of quillings from an enemy. <laughs> Tempting, but like. I feel like I should probably get combat ones. Teleport a far distance away. And turn start full cost discount. Hmm. I don't know. This does fit like the rogue thematic. Blink could help us get out of a bad spot if we don't have scavenger stash. Gamba. Whatever, we're going to steal money. I feel like I'm going to wreck this, but that's okay. Random story event, store. Nah, I can't afford it much. Free binding augment and the option to choose. Story event, whatever. We'll get lucky, I'm sure. Always lucky. The vulture one. Okay. I'm going to lose HP, but... Um, but I can't really heal that. I could lose quillings. Ah, let's do it. I just got a thing that can steal some. I'll be fine. It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh my. <sighs> Not great. This better be sick. T for two. On your turn, restore three HP to the ally with the... Oh. Sweet. All right. Well, that helps with the healing. All right. I guess I'll take it. The vaults now are... They're not bad, but I already have six and they're just fiestas. Like, there's no guarantee what I'll get. I think I'm going to go quilling cage to try and buy stuff. Had I known I was going to get a healing one, I would have used more of my HP for that, but. Ooh, there's a teapot. If we can kill him, we get permanent extra damage. The question is, who should I, who should I steal from? <laughs> Stay focused. We need... As many people with this as possible. Ah, uh, but the orb's over by that, dude. Uh, uh, I need to pick that up so we actually have will next turn. Uh, well, I guess I could do... Ooh, nice. I can do that. Grab the orb so I get it back. Uh, all of them. Go ahead. Screw it. I'm going to steal from you. I don't know how much we got. Probably not worth it, but that's okay. How far can we run? Your damage over here? Easy. Do a little more damage to you. And then... Ah, uh, maybe I should have used... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, well. It's a lot of them, Chief. Wires dice. Does that do? Oh, I got Omni damage this turn. Let's go. Oh, wait. I have to kill him this turn. Well, kill him, I shall. Kill him, maybe I will. What the fudge? Did I not hit him with that? Did not. Okay. There's gotta be a way I can hit all three of them with this. Surely. 
Okay, that does hurt all things. Grab the orb again. Oh no, I don't think I'm gonna kill him. No! Is there a way I can reduce cool and have a random binding to zero and get <sighs> I really need him to die. No! Screw it! Oh wait, that's exactly what I needed, I think. Will it be enough? <gasps> yes, it will! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm gonna take damage, but whatever. The important thing is, we killed the teapot. Now we get 10 perma omni damage. Investment in- Oh, and plus, yeah, I'm healing 3 damage every turn. Oh yeah, dude, we're- Oh, dude, we're freaking fine, dude! And the dice gave us damage again? Like... This is free! And then I do this, get 5. Oh my word, and then look at that. Come back. Hit him with- Yes! And then, steal some more from this dude. Give me your money, stupid. And then, how am I still gonna? I'm still getting hit. What's this about? Can't kill. Oh wait, no, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, I need to quit. You know what? I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and stall here. I get this orb, and this orb, and then I wait one more turn. Uh, I can actually pilfer him, and then kill him. Pretty big brain. Okay, if I come over here, hit him again. In fact, do I get even greedy? Ah, oh, fudge. Oh, the burn. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah! Alright. Well, we still get a whole bunch of quillings. And then... God knows what we're gonna get. The problem is, I can't read what they do, so... Drop that for now. Um... Misting... I'm collecting an orb, gain shield. Well, I do collect orbs, I guess. Bastion, plus one shielding, okay. On your turn, reduce cooldown of your highest cooldown binding by one. Oh. Oh, well that would just... <laughs> okay. That just means I could steal more, but... Hold on, let me see what this is first. Okay. Well, okay. Collecting an orb gives my Tosis, which creates an additional orb next turn. Did I only get to do that one? Because if I could do that with a plant, with this, and then I'm just always having like three plants every turn. That's pretty good. Or deal damage for each stack of dread in a small area. Lose all dread. On defeating an enemy, gain a stack of dread. Oh. If I get a max of 10 stack. So, 630, 800 damage. Uh, but I'd have to kill 10 dudes, so it's pretty much just like, use on the boss. Oh, this isn't good. This is just our only damaging things. And... If these aren't enough to kill something or whatever, then... That's it, right? You could reroll, but I don't even know what to reroll for. Right. Let's see what we get. Blank, shield wall, cleave. The 165 damage in a moderate cone inflicting. I think these are worse.
I hate using my glyphs for this. So 55 damage in a large area inflict days. Deal less damage. Or deal 13 damage in a large area around you. Inflict 30 stacks of poison. It would do 210 damage and then it's halved. Or this. This is more utility. I'm certainly not rerolling anymore. Uh. Okay, what was this one? Liar's Dice? We kind of like that one. And then this compass, what was this? Extra crit damage? We like that. Uh, on turn, smite the nearest enemy. I think we get rid of that one. Oh, and did it also randomly upgrade Molten? Extra burn damage. Woo! Using the orb, gain shield. It means like every turn I get like two shield. First turn getting two will, that's fun. So what, what was this one? On your turn, reduce cooldown your highest cooldown by one. Mm. Magic damage. Okay, where where am I doing magic damage? Okay, cool. Literally nowhere. Good to know. Where's that? Alright, yeah. We'll get the extra redemption. Okay. Oh, well, we could do the shrine to get double set stats. Uh, there's a study or shop. Do I want to throw any of these away for double? What about like this treasure? But we'd have to get to five, which seems. Oh, but if we get to five, every battle always has a treasure pot. That's interesting. Very unlikely, but interesting. I don't know what to feed it. Making all this up. We go this. But maybe it's better this way, so then I build. Uh, what are we going to give you? Um, let's give us two Bastion, which, but we don't shield at all. Give us extra crit chance. Sure. I haven't the slightest clue. I'm going to double check, but yeah, I think all the stuff is gone. Yep. Ah! Harness Vault times two. No. Big Quilling or Augment. I mean, would be bad. Ah, we'll go more money. Oh, and we got a fish. For Paw again. What is it? Oh, that's the attack one. That's pretty good. There's another potion. Hmm. Inflict vulnerable on all enemies. There you go. I'll see if that's still there after the battle. I think it should be. It's only when you leave, like, the area. Alright. What have we got here? That's a pretty large area, indeed. Steal something from somebody. Give me your quillings. Stupid. And then... Need to dash. Gather. Stuff. Then I could go back. I'll just grab this orb. Uh. Hit that. Grab that. Uh, who's, I don't know who I should be targeting more. Yeah, whatever. Uh, 
throw damage. Yeah, I'll do it here anyway. What? I'll do it. I'll sit here. It's supposed to be zero damage anyway. That way, uh... Oh, and you can only pilfer people once. That makes sense. Um, that way I'm closer to the, wherever the orb might spawn. Which is right over there. Oh. Okay, but I need to try and kill. Please, guys. Uh, what if I hit him with the freaking freaking suit? <laughs> no, and then <laughs> uh, Will leaves you with one HP. What a legend! Heroes never die; they become a part of you. And zero damage. We made it! Have we done it? Uh, Sujiro, thank you for the 15 month resub. Schult Gaming, thank you for the five gifted subs. Congrats to the gifted and the many daughters. Thank you very much for your support. House Fruit. I know that was checks notes an hour ago, but can we get some pocket nice news? My bad. Anonymous with two more gifted subs. Catherine B with a 19 month resub. Kale Chip 54 with the 8, Secret Flex is 512 with the 2, and Dan the Man 2024 with the 25 months. Welcome to back to House Room Friends. Dilly Dilly. Appreciate ya. Good to see y'all. Oh, the floor is gonna crit. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. How can I hit? Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, then I have to take three damage, but I also have shielding. Yeah. Oh, but this guy's doing an AOE I can't avoid. What a bone. Who does he think he is? I'm gonna consume the shield because I'm gonna pick up that fish or whatever anyway. Oh, I can pill for you. Give me your money. And grab that. Stupid. Okay. What are we doing here? I'm gonna hit you there. Grab this. Find a way to hit all of you. Like that. And is there a way to hit? Yup! Yeah. Alright. Will there be anything of a value in here? Another liar's dice. Okay, that's. Strange. Wait, but I know what that does. Well, wait. What's the. Three liars dice. Future Willer. I'm collecting the orb and gain a sheet. We're one away from Treasure Hunter 5, bruh. I don't know why I'm just getting liars dice, but. Yeah. Yeah, screw it. Gamba. Oh, Ooh. we can get five treasure hunter, which sucks because I would have liked to keep that. But the one rid of the one side. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't grab the fish. Fudge. I'm a disgrace. Maybe maybe the fish is still there. Maybe maybe the fish is. Too many things for me to remember. But, every combat will now have a treasure pot, okay? So, let's look 
at the you might but good talking to you what do we get here this is the only point where i can actually sort of make a build at the shop i'm collecting an orb game stacks of spike we are collecting lots of orbs that do kind of be our thing on hitting inflict a burn of or one stack of burn Hitting enemies for the first time in foot three stuff. No. I don't like these. On critting, inflict dazed. Nice burn turn. Burn and poison damage, extra crit damage. That'll give us a little extra. Oh, this will actually give us an extra good chance too. And there's a chance it would upgrade the shadow. Sure. Uh, I don't need to restore. We will get an augment. Gain extra movement after pickpocketing. Ooh. Gain a shield for each shuriken. That wouldn't be bad. 25 extra damage. I mean... I don't really like any of these. I'm going shield, I guess. All right, on to the first boss. What you got, boss? The captor again? Ah, yes. Must kill your allies. Ah, but first, I must pilfer, my friend. Ah, uh, well. Yes, first. Can't pilfer that close. Yeah, let's go for you. Yeah. Gather this. Um. Hit. Both of you. And. And. Thanks for the quilling, stupid. And now we got 20 permanent Omni damage. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. A uh, kitty puppy frog, thank you for the raid. Welcome raiders, appreciate that. Hope you had a good stream. Um. Can we hit all three? Oh, you bet your bottom dollar we can. We hit all five. You bet your bottom dollar we can't. Okay, grab that. Can't even hit him yet, right? I can, but he just has Omega damage for this, so. We have four shurikens. That's pretty good. Are you not marked? Can you be marked? Quick mark. Oh, because I used it on the smoke bomb. Oh, that was dumb of me. I see now. Game. Whack you. Another one. Oh, I get a pill for somebody. Give me your money. Like 30 or 20 to 30. I mean, that's not bad. I wouldn't really say it's like anything to write home about, but you know. And we hit all. No. Uh, Omega crit. Yeah! 
And oh, I'm out of movement. I'm gonna take damage either way. Oh my god. With seven shields, so they're doing a lot of damage. But I heal for three. L M A O. Okay, I've been. I just I've been fighting for my life. Seemingly, I was like, "Oh, we're doing." I forgot. I'm just trying to kill these dudes to start hitting the boss, and we're not even. I'm really close to that. Oh, but I could pill for the boss. <laughs> Am I gonna do that? Absolutely. I got like the same amount. You would think like pilfering a boss would be like, whoa. Here's some more. You're crazy, but no. Picking up orbs, getting shields is actually coming in pretty clutch. Do you say so myself? Uh, wait, fudge. Uh, I did. Uh, that's pretty big. So now I lose the mark. <sighs> Too much brain power needed. Give me your money. No regrets. We hit all three. Ah, come on. There's got to be a way. There is. Oh. Because we need to try and stack them five shurikens. And that's exactly what that allows us to do. Really? Launch this one, it's okay. Thank you, be Drews. Appreciate your kind words. Oh, what's you gonna do now, buddy? What's you gonna do now? Ah, oh, you've already been pilfered. Dang it. Can't take him for everything he's worth anymore. What good are you? Oh. Did I have a lot of burn on him? I didn't pay attention. Don't need to restore HP, son. 25%. Whoa. Chance to steal a random vestige. It'll probably never happen, and it'll probably be just terrible, let's be honest. All stacks of poison with poison dash. Sure. And we get a... Gosh dang it. We get to evolve our pilfer. We could mug. Deal 150 damage. Steal a large amount of quillings. Steal even more if you defeat the enemy. Steal a large amount. The first enemy you steal from will drop a random vestige. Stealing from guardians yield higher rarity vestiges. One problem is... Again, random, like, we have no room. I think we just still go for a whole bunch of money. I think we try and mug somebody. But at the same time, random messages, you know? Like, who wouldn't like that? Oh, and it did upgrade Shadow Pog. That's what I was hoping for. So, <laughs> it's a little gamba. But, at the start of a turn, we take one damage. Huh? But we get plus 30 Omni damage. 
and we're stacking it with Treasure Hunter. So we always have 50. And then, with Liar's Dice, we have a chance to get 110. Uh, but I think I'm going to go money. I think we're going to mug some people. I'm a mug-blooded American, you hear? Hello there, Needless. Uh, speaking of Liar's Dice, I could just throw that in here. And I, I probably will. Although with this one, well, on critting, inflict dazed. Twice per turn. But my smoke bomb already does that, so it's script. Oh, I can do it. Eh, maybe I'll do another one then. Another liar's dice. Maybe another large dice. Yeah, screw it. And you know what? Future will. If I care. These are the only actives I really want. And this just means now I can actually pick up more vestiges. A little gamma, sure, but. Love watching play games. Watch several years. No, well, thank you, kitty puppy frog. And thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate that. Oh, speaking of which, gamba. What do we get? Study Tortoise. On your turn, gain three stacks of Shattered Well. And Powder Monkey Stockpile. Extra physical damage. Less movement per turn. I don't know if I love that one. We do kind of need to be zooming. Uh, we could get an Augment and Glyphs. Superior Vault and more money. Uncommon Augment, money. Yeah, now that I thought about that, yeah, stealing the vestiges would have been better, but I also forgot that I could do that. Alright, but the question is, do we do Powder Monkey Stockpile? Minus 15 movement? Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to drop that here and pick it up, but I don't want that during combat. Alright, now where's my... There he is. He's going to shoot five damage there, so don't be there when he gets that easy. We're going to move here. That I can do that. Come back and do that. Pick this up. I should have probably used this first. Whatever. Then do this. Get him up with that. And then we wait. It's a good amount of poison and burn damage, actually. Yeah. Okay. Don't underestimate that stacking. I didn't even think about that. In fact, he should just die next turn. Now we got a lot of dudes doing a lot of things. What is this about? Hey, yo. Then with the days. You could very easily... Well, yeah, I don't even have to... I can just... All right, kill you guys. Um, kinda, I guess. Now what? Um. Alright, well, he'll definitely die. Which gives us more Omni damage. And, okay, you can't see, I'm at a thousand quillings. We're popping off. And I... Oh, fudge, I could have mugged him. Oh, wait, I'm gonna mug this dude. That. Wait, does it hit multiple people? It doesn't. But I'll kill him. Oh, yeah, that's 70 quilling. For, like, nothing, essentially. Don't mind if I do. Really need to... Grab one of these. And come back. Then hit you. 
Oh, but... Ew, I did not think this one through. Alright. But we still heal, so... Whatever. And then, honestly, I... Oh, you're gonna die to poison. You, however, are full health. So... Oh, uh, but... Okay, as long as I, like, see, like, well, I'm going to take three damage, but then I practically heal all that. Oh, wait, don't apply po there. Okay. We're going to wait so I can... Oh, wait, I could have mugged him. Oh. I picked up all those things, and I didn't even think about it. That's what I was literally waiting to do. Gosh, dang. Oh, you just hate, you hate to see it, Cotton. But I can mug. Oh, you're not dead. I disagree. Okay, now I can mug you. There we go. We're at 1,140. Scratch that. 1,352. Then we get two random uncommons, which just so happen to be undefeat an enemy. 25% chance to grant one will. Okay. On your turn, gain a stack of shuriken. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I do like that. We could grind something up. Oh. Back what I could do with this thing. Grind that up. For some physical damage. Random event or store. Actually. I do I do have all these quillings. I mean, getting double sets would be cool. You know? But... Let's go shopping. Plus, we get a fish because of it. Totally knew that would happen. Uh, we can lower the base cooldown of our bomb. Gain movement from pilfering. Or increased range of flurry. What the fudge? I don't... None? Increased dash range. Extra damage with my sharp throw. Dude, maybe... Dash range. Oh, but that fully... Mm, Should have thought about that one. Ah! Alright, what do we get? Oh? Treasure Hunter... You know me. Intent Omni damage per current will. Well, I don't have a lot of that, but. I get another T for two. Which would also give me Fabled on turn end for each of my leftover will in a small amount of quillings. Oh. Well, I don't have much will for that. Okay, never mind. Buy this. This would give me extra quillings. If I ever got more of those. Or do it so that at the start of turn, I take more damage, but I get more Omni damage. Hmm. Well, that's really good. I'm not doing that. The, I, I think I'm going to get rid of this for sure. Hold on. Get this out of here. I'm going to buy this for now. And we're going to reroll. I've got a good amount. Oh, gain extra quillings. 20% more. And then with that, so 40% more quillings. On my first turn, if I have 600 quillings or more, gain 100 Omni damage until end of combat. We're going Mr. Moneybags. Yeah, I can do that. What the fudge? All right, get rid of this tortoise. What the fudge? Bruh. And I just gained more quillings. On your first turn, gain one will and magic damage until the end of turn. Mm, I don't know about that. Plus, I need five more for that, so that doesn't matter. Um. Alright, well, I have 857. I'm going to hold on to that. I don't need to heal. Okay, well. So, 
when I start a t when I start battle, I should have 200 Omni damage. What the fudge? Got you good. Superior Vault and a rare augment. Rare Vault, and willing cash, uncommon augment, and heroic vault. Sure. We're going rare. Uh, what's the, what's the potion here? All bindings gain two discount. What fish do I have? Gain two shielding loss at the end of combat. Sure, I'll use that. Eh. Gotta use that this battle. Chat, don't let me forget the crab, okay? I gotta get the crab before I leave. Don't let me forget. I'm begging you. And just like that, 200 Omni damage. Holy. Holy. Oh my god. And with my increased dash range, I and not uh, hit all three of you. Unfort. But I go here. And then wait, hold on. But that doesn't work. I take 19 damage for that? What? Should deal two damage to the attacker. So why in the world would it do 19 to me? Is that a glitch? Because my health bar shows me only losing a little bit. Each shuriken counts as one? Oh, fudge me. Well, that's not great. Oh, but I can pill for this guy and kill him. Give me all your money. Because how much? It does 301 damage. Not bad, not bad. Does this even get rid of your armor? Uh, not quite. Seven damage. Three damage. Yeah. More of these guys are is not good. Oh wait, no, he just rolled. Okay, so this guy. Wait. Oh. 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 When all my damage is like multi-hit like that. Wait, where's oh he's on the other one. Um, yeah, it's not great, Captain. It's not great. I'm not gonna lie to you. Even if I kill him, I still take seven? Okay, here. No, oh, I thought that was shielding. Oh. I have to break shield some other way, like this. It didn't break. What the fuck? You'll all die to burn and whatnot. Give me this power. Wait, why am I? Oh. I don't know what he's doing. All right. Give me all that money with 1300. Don't mind if I do. I could kill somebody with this. How much health do you have? 165. All the same, so. Don't mind if I do. You're too kind. Can't really see what I'm doing. Hold on. This dude's just doing eight damage to me. This dude's doing four. Two. What the fudge is this? Okay, well, for you guys. Oh. Stupid. I go give you the chance. What is this? 
deals increased damage and takes increased damage. Oh, wait. Then there's a there's a world where Yes. Yes, there is. We're living in that world. Uh and then if I do this, I do that. Then we take no damage and he's dead. I could have waited for another pill for a bit. We're doing alright. Don't forget crap. <gasps> Resopnels, you're the goat. I was gonna forget crap. I didn't even use this, but. All right, we get to change our shuriken to deal a little less damage. However, it deals extra damage to enemies at max range. Or deal damage to a single enemy, but it bounces to nearby enemies. Hmm. Probably ricochet. Ricochet. Then we got random uh things. Let's see. On collecting an orb, inflict seven stacks of burn on the nearest enemy. We do do that. And on inflicting poison, inflict days. Also do that. But. Uh, roll. Like an orb inflicts. That's pretty good. Um, the misting bells is yeah the the one where I gain shield by picking up orbs I I need it and then to be fair this is the only way I apply burn I mean I could do it where collecting an orb but it's only the nearest enemy everything else like we hundred percent need that. We don't need this, but I like it, and it gives us crit damage. Yeah, but I guess it's more less likely. This happens way more often. And we get an augment. Inflict hex with this. 30% bonus magic damage to the target, but I don't do any magic damage. Poison throw. On hitting an enemy not inflicted with poison, inflict eight stacks of poison. Otherwise, inflict your stacks. Or inflict mark. After I pilfer them. Eh. Wait. Oh, I could daze them with this, but... Screw it. Oh, that's pretty good. Being able to dump something for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to dump that for Molten, though. I do like getting the shurikens... I could dump this on combat and gain small amount of coins because then I'd get my shadow and quilling hoarder and then move on. Or there's a story thing. Who knows what happens? Or a binding augment and I can buy another. I do be having lots of money. Although, if I throw this thing away, I get three Quilling Hoarder. On combat end, gain bonus Quillings for every 100 Quillings I have, up to 500 Quillings. So I would just get 500 Quillings. Binding was probably a better option, but like, come on, that's too tempting. Take it, let's go. I still, at some point, do I get to unlock that chest? I feel like I should be able to unlock that chest. But. Two vaults, oh lord. This is where I get a rare augment. My runs probably always take long because I always fight the elites instead of just, you know, normal battles, but I want that better loot. And I hate these freaking dates, you know? These freaking dates. God. All right. I'm taking the crap. 
I'm doing it. Because I want to grab... I can't grab it yet. Oh, wait. There was already a treasure pot, I guess, but now we got two of them. What a day. What a lovely day. Go through all of them. Oh, I'm not going to be able to grab that. Ah, fudge. Uh, what have I done? Uh, what have I done? Um, why is everyone hitting me? What about? Taking a lot of damage here. Don't love this. This would reduce all your damage. Huh? Only eight damage. Oh, wait! I can avoid his attack for four. Okay. More manageable. Like in the teapot was too greedy. I also have, I have over 2,000 quillings right now. I like, I don't even think I'm going to be able to spend all of that. What the fudge? Everything is hitting me. He's regenerating though. I need to hit him while he's doing said regenerating. Take three damage, but I heal. That's not that bad. I think he'll die to debuffs. Yeah. We're at 230 Omni damage every battle. Sheesh. These guys are annoying. I hit. No. That doesn't kill you? Oh, gotta be kidding. Got him. I didn't mug anybody, but again, we're doing all right. I got 2,400, almost 2,500. Frozen heart. Extra HP on being hit and oh, frostbite. What the fuck? On using the binding, extra chance to reduce its cool or half fifty percent chance to reduce its cooldown by one. Go with that. Again, I have this fabled, but I need leftover will. I, I, I have three well, you know, like that should happen. Uh, okay, I could dump something in here. What would this give me? Extra movement per turn, that's not bad. Kind of like all the other act the actual effects. A I think, I think it's time to not be greedy and spend some money getting augments. Oh, yeah. Give me that rare augment. Inflict shatter. Extra physical damage. On defeating an enemy, gain a shuriken. Or inflict a stack of bleed per hit. Go shatter. Steal one HP. Okay. We're going to go with more smoke bomb. And that was it. Okay. Now I get to spend some more money. We do have 2300. Let's buy an augment. On turn start, full discount, which is one. Increase range with flurry. Or on hitting, inflict eight stacks of bleed. 
Sure, we'll just get bomb stuff. Now, come in huge, store. On defeating an enemy, gain a shuriken. That's it. I feel like... One shuriken? Or purple? Now, I could get shadow. Live shadow. Where we get 200 omni damage. But we take three damage. So the teapot just heals all the damage we're doing to ourselves. That's 200 omni damage. That would put us at 360 omni damage every fight. I mean... Wait, I missed an augment in that room? Oh my god. Wait, can I go back for that? Probably not. Oh my god. How did I miss that? Anyway. A pega. That's sad. Uh, it will get rid of this swift here. I'll buy this. Let's re-roll. <clears throat> More treasure hunter. On your turn, roll a random number between 1 and 20. This vestige gains a stat based on the number rolled. 1 through 5, nothing. 6 through 10, I get physical damage. 11 through 15, I get magic damage. 6 through 19, I get omni damage. And 20, I get 1 well. Another treasure hunter. On defeating an enemy with your damage for more than double their max HP. Probably not happening. Let's be roll again. On gaining nah, extra burn damage. Burn damage now increases damage done by frostbite. Okay. I don't want that. Let me see. Can I go back for that augment? How did I miss? That? No, I can't. Oh my god. Hey, uh, what have I done? What have I done? Restore 3 HP. Oh. You still got 1600. One more reroll. Extra damage resist. Although I don't know how that works with shadow. That would give us 6 shadow. And then we could get the 7 shadow. Hmm. What would I get rid of? Maybe the burn. Or on my turn, game one stack of shuriken. We don't even have the reaver thing either. Yeah, screw it. Get this out of here. Okay, well, if we get seven shadow, we take five damage at the start of the turn, but we get 500 omni damage. So essentially, we're on a ticking time bomb. Because I can't heal more than I'll hurt myself. But eventually. Eventually. We get to the boss. And I would be doing insane damage. 360 on the damage. Yeah. It's the mimic. He's right behind me, isn't he? Can I really not hit? All three with this? I feel like the hit marker for this mushroom. Why? I cannot. Okay, we'll just do this. And the mugging won't kill him yet. Yet. And with this, the mugging will now kill him. Oh, we get a whole bunch of stuff from that. Kill both of those. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, come, come, come. Okay. Uh, <laughs> easy enough. Grab that. Right out of his way. Hit him with that. Hit him with this. Alright, it's starting to come together. Maybe I should have gotten sure it off. Yeah, whatever. I could 
pilferin. Nothing I do about the damage. 471 damage. No, 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 no. Ah! Look at all them power orbs. Don't mind if I do. This is going pretty well. So what did he turn into now? Uh, at 10 stacks, next attack deals double damage. Ooh. We'll just don't let him do that. Easy. Uh. Come sail away. Come sail away. Get all three. Like that. Do that. Do that. Like this. Like that. Get up this. How much damage should this do? Not enough. We'll then do that. This. And then that. Oh, baby. We're smurfing. Okay. Hey, this is easy. You can upgrade the bomb. Deal double damage in a moderate area instead of large. On defeating one or more enemies, deal damage again at the same location. Or deal the same amount. But in uh, grant resistant and one stack of blur to allies. Nah. Wait, I have 12 glyphs. Where the fudge did I get all those? Okay, well then reroll. The flurry. Now we're talking. Deal less damage, but inflict more, way more poison. Or deal more damage. Uh, if you defeat an enemy, gain three shuriken and reset the cooldown to zero. Okay. Restore nothing. Your shurikens deal plus 10 damage. <coughs> yeah. Now we're headed to the Kraken. Yeah, I'm having fun, Hazel. I love this game. We got 2,000 quillings. We're big vibing. Bing chilling. It's hard to tell what is randomly getting upgraded. I think Precision has gotten randomly upgraded. I think Fabled, Bastion, I think. We meet again. Well, well, well. Uh, at start of turn, wait, phases at start of turn cause to dodge the first attack made against, but afterwards takes more damage. Oh, not that bad. If I do this, can I hit all three? Bang. No? Okay. Well, whatever, I'll do this. And then that. And then this. And... Fly out. We'll take zero damage. What the fudge is that? Increase this enemy's attack for the rest of combat. 3,300 health. Okay, okay. What's that about? What's we doing? I think all the debuffs might just kill him. It do kind of be the beauty of... 8 bajillion Omni damage. Okay, well, we one shot him. Never mind. Don't know why I was worried. And they're dead. Okay. Maybe I'll mug him next turn if he's not up. Never mind. Should have seen that one coming. 
Oh, they, they're dropping the glyphs. Oh, no wonder. That's so good. Oh, my mugging won't kill. But it will now. Damage. damage. Not bad. We heal those. And we... Okay. Ancient Vault. Two purples. Pause. What we got? Paradigm Shift. All bindings have plus two base cooldown. What? But on using one, reduce cool all cooldowns by one. I don't know that I like that. That doesn't... No. Oh! Oh, Gamba. We got another one. We have 40 damage resist, but we have seven shadows. So at the start of a turn, take five damage. But we have 500 Omni damage. So we start with 680 Omni damage. I, I feel like I, I gotta. No way, I can't. Clean or gain a shield. Still seems pretty important. What is the burn? We're picking up. Mm, now we're in a conundrum. Mm. Burn gloves or picking up ore. We don't know. How about uh, just when we hit him? Oh, we got, wait, more vaults. Oh, Lord. Pause. What is going on here? Okay. Poison heart. Mm. Oh, wait, what? On inflicting poison for the first time each turn, gain three shield. Nah, only for the first time. And on your turn, inflict dazed on the enemy with the highest HP. No. Take that stuff back. And epic augment. Minus one will cost. So Flurry is free, and then if we get a kill, it's still free. Uh, our primary attack had a more crit chance and crit damage. Steal an orb. Oh, that's interesting. Minus one will cost. That just seems too good. Alright, now we get to spend all our money before the final boss. All 2,600 of it, so let's see if I can even... Find something worth buying. I could also do a vestige thing. On defeating an enemy, gain one will. On your turn, gain omni damage. On the comment, I got plenty of that. On defeating an enemy, this vestige. Ah, that would have been cooler earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna save 600. Don't worry. I'm gonna spend it all on inflict on inflicting burn. Inflict four more stacks. What if defeat an enemy game one shirt? What if I throw that away, that's not that crazy. Uh, and then I could buy that for now. And then let's see what else we find. On your first turn, Byron will grant you words of encouragement and a random buff. Either plus two will, plus 120 omni damage, or plus five shielding. Anything but the shielding would be really good. I already have one of those. But well, I would have to replace like my burning, but actually three molten's really good because I do 30% extra damage to people who's burned. I get rid of misting bells, but this essentially gives me like two or three shield every turn. And with shielding, that's actually like six, seven, eight, nine, something. We don't really know if there's anything we could double your shield gain. 
I, I, call me crazy. I think I think uh, we got what we want. So yeah, I just have a whole bunch of quillings I can't do anything with. Can't even. Uh, ah, whatever. We'll die rich, or well, pause. Win rich, you know. I get hasty. And let's poop on him. You don't stand a chance, my dude. <laughs> Even the little treasure pots here. Okay, 680 Omni damage. My word. Like, just my normal ricochet is doing 508 damage. That's a lot of damage. An insane amount of damage. Let's go here. Those one shots. Didn't even do any. This hitting all. It is. Well, that kills him. Okay. And then that hurts them. I can't get in uh, range for that, but that's okay. Okay, so they're dead. Okay, not not bad, not bad, not bad at all. all. Right, well that pushes him to his next phase. Collect that. I don't want to hurt them anymore because I'll I'll wait to do more damage when um, he's up. I could mug them, but I, it doesn't do anything for me anymore. Oh, wait, they disappeared. Oh, okay. Well, oh, wait, no, I think my burn and everything killed me. Whoops. Classic. Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay. More than I thought. Poison kills you. You guys are hurt. Right, you're dead. When that did kill that guy. Ah, but I'll wait. This is pretty good. I think we're doing all the right. No. I think I'm still fine. Yeah. Just you, big. Oh, wait. No, you guys. Let me just push him real quick. Push me to the edge. Yeah, well, I, what else is there to say when you have it was almost 700 Omni damage? Turns out you do a lot of damage. This just in. Don't know if you guys knew that. He's dead. He's dead. I'm not really getting range of anything though. Alright. 
I think I've... Oh, no, the tentacles. I, the other ones came back damaged. So I thought it stayed that way, but... Uh, yeah, this... A lot better than last run. Who would have thought? The game of gods giveth, the game of gods taketh. They gave it. I can't get back. Wait, all the debuffs? When it, when it run with a thousand or more quillings, 2,600. Yeah. Oh, we're rich. Look, first daily challenge done. Just that easy. Ah, uh, 31st on the day. Wow, they're fast. 